This show is brought to you by K2 Woohoo. It's Leon, motherfucker. It's my milk in a box. Fancy pants. Otter poppers. Phone losers of America. Crispy 808. Mr. Turbois. MST3 Clay. Gobi. Dharma Wheelies. And Gordo. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more at immoralhole.com. You can find our archives at travelswithmiriam.com. Hey, hello. 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 Yeah. Hello. He's in. He's in. He's in jail again. Hello. Hey, did you did you sober up yet? I don't know who you're talking to. Oh, well, you got slammed in the drunk tank, and I was just wondering if you were ready to come home. I never, I don't even know what a drunk tank is. I don't drink. Um, oh, we went through this before. You always forget that you drink, you little devil, you. Uh, I'm sorry, you got the wrong number. 2013. Hello? Hello. Hey, how's it going, boss? I'm stuck in the year 2013. I was hoping you could help me out. Okay. All right. What do you got going on there, my man? I saw your uh, advertisement. For what? For, uh, oh, shoot. Let me pull up the website here. Sorry, buddy. Axpa? For what? Are you selling that Wayfair cabinet? You got on? You got that Wayfair cabinet. You said that showed up at your house and they told coffee, you to keep coffee it? Coffee table. Coffee table. Sorry. Oh, it was a coffee table. I thought it was a yeah. cabinet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've been to the year 3000. Yeah, I'm selling the coffee, uh, the coffee table. Yes, sir. Ted Webb's going to talk to you. I got to go get a glass so I can suck up some fireball, my guy. All right. God bless. And what, what's the coffee table made out of? The real oh, wood? wood. Oh, that's good. You can do things on an oak table. It won't break on you. You ever do things on the table to test how strong it is? No. Oh, you mean you and the wife didn't get frisky on it? I just want to know how strong it is. Hello? Hello? You're looking for Halloween decorations? Oh, I was. Uh, well, I got some for you if you want them. What more kind are they? Uh, well, there. But see, my wife uh, bought a whole <laughs> bunch of these stuff and she was hanging them up. And I just don't like them. They're a little bit too offensive. They're uh, Trump 2020 posters and stuff like that. And I was willing to give them to you if you want to put them up. They're kind of scary. They'll scare the kids away. Well, I don't want to scare no kids away. I just want to put some stuff outside out in my yard. You got some, oh, you got well, something what kind of stuff? I'm sorry, what? You got, you, got, you got some of that kind of stuff that we go out in the yard? Are you drunk? Yeah. What are you what drinking over here, buddy? Up? Me? What are you What are you looking for? With the, the well, fireball? I'm trying to put, well, I'm trying to find some stuff to put out in the yard. The Halloween. Are your parents related? It's hard to huh? understand what you're saying. What? Where I can't friend? understand what you're saying. Where are you Grand from? Wife, you want to meet up and why you want to meet up with me? <laughs> I don't know where you're from. What do you look like, boy? I don't know what your problem is, but I don't know who you know you think you're talking to. Shut up. I ain't no damn boy. I'm 61 years old. I know exactly who I'm talking to, a little bitch. Who's that gravel voice motherfucker who's talking to me? Hello? 
Where's your wife at? Put her on the phone. Uh, I don't know who the fuck you think you're talking to, punk. Put your wife on the phone. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah. Just because you, you know clap you your clap your, your hey, 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 shut the bitch. shut the fuck up and listen. Just because you flap your gums on a lot of dick doesn't mean your lips are meat tenderizers, all right? So why don't you just calm the fuck down? All right, you better fucking shut the fuck up, you retard. Hey, listen, I may, I may be the R word. I may be the R word. You're a motherfucking ass. Ha! Listen, I'm a war veteran, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck who you are. I will take, I'll take, take you behind the barracks. I will take you behind the barracks where we used to fuck the new guys. Oh, you. Ah, you never served your country. You don't know if I have an act, retard. Hey, hey, a service member never say that. Listen, I was in the National Guard. I was in the National Guard. I don't give a fuck you was in the National Guard. I don't give a fuck what you said, retard. Ah, you, ah, you didn't even sign up for the Salvation Army, you limp wristed son of a bitch. Well, you're the son of a bitch. No, you. You might want to see how that works. Your head pull off pretty bad, don't you? Hey, fuck? listen, I'll pull my. You can't even pull my head off. I'll pull my own head off before you pull my head off. Happy Halloween, motherfucker. Oh, fuck you. You got flat feet, You're don't you, boy? Ah, tell us about your bone spurs and your flat feet and how you couldn't fight in the Cola Wars. You run your mouth, I'll get it up at the police department and they'll have a little chat with you next. Why, you going to tell, tell them about how you're a draft dodging son of a bitch? You're a stupid ass bitch. No, I said draft dodging, you old fucker. Turn your hearing aid up to 10. Yeah. Well, you better turn something up. You gonna get your head to warm next time I see I'm you. Turn, you I'm gonna turn your. I'm gonna turn your wife on. I'm, no, no, I'm not gay. I'm gonna turn your uh, wife you on. Do nothing. No, fucking shit up. I'm gonna put a You're nice so suit on. I'm gonna flick my. Time. I'm gonna flick my hair back. I'm gonna hold her hand, and then I'll take. I can't laugh when I walk away. Now. Hello. Well, this is Boonty Boss customer support. Boonty. You know what's happened? You've already been turned into the police department. Shut up, motherfucker, you. Bitch. You don't know me. You know what's like, you ain't fucking bad as you think you are. What you shut the I'm fuck up? I'm a big and I'm a whole You think a tracer can stop us? <laughs> yeah. We are. Hey, uh, you just say you can go to my house. Nobody wants to listen to your shit. Sorry, that's Look at my shoulders. Look at my box. Look at my shoulders and look at my body. Hey, we smell that's bad, it. but we don't look bad. Ooh, like I think you, you need to grow yeah, up. Our own senior box. That's the Boonty uh, Box motto. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, we, yeah. we yeah. may look bad, but we don't smell Blow bad. Blow it out your ass, sir. You're a Boonty Box. You are a Boonty Box. Blow it out your Boonty Box, sir. Yeah. How <laughs> inbred are you? Only Paul to say he loves you and he, he thinks you're a beautiful person. That's yeah. a fucking lie. I will give you a mouth. God damn it. I tried, all right. I tried to be nice. Where's Matt Hillock at? Don't be nice to him. True. Hang on. Can, can I make it up to you with my phone? Hang up the phone, no, sir. Booty box to manage you. Hang up the phone right now. Yeah, he Hang got the police. I'm CEO of the Booty Box. Hang up the phone, honey baby. It's a business, and we need you to off to get our line. Come on, sir. I still hear you there. I still get hear off you. You don't understand how to hang up. Hang up the phone. You want me to fuck that? Blake's already sitting out here watching. Listen, um, everything you yeah, say. Hey, put him on the phone. Put him on hey, the we phone. Found, hey, we found an excess Come of on spam. On the phone. I'm Boondie Box customer support. Put the police on the phone. Up. I'm going to that. We need to know one. Box. Sir, your septic tank is overflowing because you're full of shit. Oh. We need to come take care and of it. I think you're so fucking retarded anyway. Hey, 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 no, you guys think you're so bad, but you're not bad you at all. Run your fucking mouth, all you're doing. Why would you say you're that? The biggest That's not my mouth. Okay. 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 One more problem over here. Who, who is this? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait a second. I want to talk to you for a second. Oh, I already know where you guys are at. You're at the Missouri Valley College. Listen. The police department already knows where you're at, too. Hello? Yeah, you're a bitches. You want to keep calling and threatening people? No, 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 listen. No, I ain't no listening about it no more, punk. Something is going on where these numbers are being ported. Uh, you are calling my phone and threatening people.
really weirdly and ironically. Well, you have been because you're you from you're from New York. Because I'm telling you, I tell me the other one of the boys were from you from Iowa, and you're both right, you're right here in Missouri Valley College. So, what? Hey, you won't call my number ever again because I got you both blocked out, dumbasses. Who is this? Hello. Who are you guys? Excuse me? Okay, somebody, somebody is calling from that phone to my phone number and harassing me, and it needs to stop. Oh, who's who doing you? it? But they better, they better stop or they're all going to be, people are going to be sitting in jail tonight. What? Well, your number, some guy is calling my phone and razzing me. You need to stop. Ha ha. Well, ain't no fun to laugh about it. I got your number in what state you're from. Oh, really? Because I can tell you yeah, right I do. Now, my husband. What did your husband want to do when it did behind your back? You have sat there and harassed me and harassed me on my show. What show? Motherfucker, what the fuck, you punk ass bitch? What do you keep what do you keep calling me for? You ain't nothing but a pussy, you say. What are you saying? You're the fucking pussy, you ain't that shit. You were saying that? Well, you're a damn retard ass because you fucking just keep calling me because that fucking idiot in Iowa keeps telling you to do it. Yeah, whatever. You're all fucking college kids and you ain't got none of you that fucking growed up in your life. I mean, you have so I'll show you a punk dog ass. Man. I'm 51 years old and I'm almost seven foot tall and I'll see you. I'll fucking bust your head right off. Mm-hmm. Now you little faggot. Fuck off. Well, you ain't as bad as you think you are either. Goofy None of you little punks are worth shit except go to college and you're damn stupid. Every one of you. You're a fucking I know illiterate. You got a fucking degree because I got a fucking degree. Don't give a fuck you where you're from, dude. You ain't got no damn degree for kids. Yeah, you, you got a fucking degree for fucking college. So I ain't oh, been raising you guys. Hard you're the one calling boys and me. What? You guys want to call, keep calling me, and having your friends keep calling me and razzing me. If you got your friends, why don't you fucking talk to me then, boy? Are you the fucking boy? You ain't old as I am. I got news to tell you right now. Let's go do something about it. But what about it, punk? You're talking shit. No, you're talking shit. You're talking shit. You can't back it up, call, motherfucker. Hey, if you got, hey, if you just all just stop calling my phone, there wouldn't be no problem going on. <laughs> You're a fucking joke. You I'm gonna tell you right now, buddy. Oh yeah, I got your buddy between my legs, bitch. Go get a fucking life. Get a life, you fucking bitch. You need to get a life. Every one of your friends. Get a fuck. You call me down. You know something, you ain't worth shit anymore to the rest of you little fucking queers. You would be the first motherfucker to ever right call here, me down. You're, you're, probably right, you're probably right here in Marshall, Missouri Valley College, just like the rest of the idiots are. I'm going to tell you that right and now. That, 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 that bunch of, bunch of retards there. You must be a bad motherfucker if you're going to call me down. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, punk. I'm 61 years old and I'm 7 foot tall. And you ain't going to want to fuck with me. Yeah, you're a if fucking you loser, dude. I'll take your fucking head off in two seconds, punk. You can't even get no pussy or do nothing but harass somebody on TV. Well, you don't want to keep calling my phone, and you keep using your wife's phone number. You little punk. You're the punk. You'll never grow up. You ain't shit. I'm going to tell you right now, motherfucker. Oh, fuck you. You better calm your jets. You ain't that shit. Shut the fuck up. Or I'm gonna fucking make something happen, boy. Well, whatever. 
You try to don't keep the bullshit up, the law's gonna come get every goddamn one of you and put you in jail tonight. Every fucking one of you retards. You fucking weirdo. So the numbers and what the state you're at and what college you're at. You shut the fuck up, you punk. What are you talking to me about, boy? Uh, I ain't your punk retard. Oh, you ain't nothing about where are you weekend. calling from? A fucking nursing home or a mental facility? I think you came from one because you go to that damn college ain't worth shit. You're living in the dream world, you fucking geek. You know something, bitch? If you think you're so tough, come out here in the country where I live at. We'll find out. I'm going to tell you right now, bro. I'm going to tell you right now, you ain't nothing but a little pussy yourself. You better be spamming a fucking somebody else's number. What? Don't call my number no more. There wouldn't be no problem. Because I'm going to find out who this number is. Well, you won't find my number. My number's unlisted. And your ass is going to be handed to you, boy. Oh, uh, whatever. You better grow up. Yeah. Well, when you keep calling me, I'm going to call you right back and raise you like you do me. You fucking if retard. You mind your own business, if you mind your own business, everything would be cool. You're a fucking, you're an illiterate motherfucker. No, you, you know what I said, you, 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 you won't stop. That's what and you I know are. That's, what, that's, that's, that's all that you ever be. Is a fucking hey, loser. The guy you go to school with is one to give you my number to you guys and making you do it. You need to be in your shithole country that you came from. Well, I ain't got I ain't got need for you. I ain't scared of you. You're, you're gonna find out how bad you're gonna be scared of me when you see me. And go eat your own. Sit over here, fucking pilfering off my ass. Oh fuck you! Go to bed, where you belong, retard. You fucking loser. Hello. 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 I know the game. Is this? Look for the, uh, Hi, ma'am. This is operator BT. This is operator BT191. Uh, your son seems to be, uh, breaking up. He's in prison. I'm trying to clear the line. She's like, oh, not. Stay home, may I assist you? Hello, this is Jake. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry about that, ma'am. I'm calling from Booty Box. How are you doing tonight? Oh, good, good. What can I do for you? Good. Sorry about that, ma'am. We have a cross dealing with a lot of problems here uh, on our phone system. Are, uh, are you guys on the same Booty Box phone system? Do you know? Uh, I do not at all. Okay. Is your phone cordless or is it wireless? Um, you mean like the phone I'm talking to you on right now? Right, correct. Oh, there's a cord. It's a cord. There. Okay, so you guys are Boomty Box. Well, you should, uh, when you flip over the phone, take out the battery. It should say Boomty Box on the bottom. We're just calling to do a quick uh, test on that phone. Uh, nothing crazy. We're not going to have to do it any. Um, what you need to do right now, just to make sure the hotel it, the phone is working, have you been getting calls all night or is it? I'm sorry, sir. Sorry. This, you're, you're, you, oh, no, you just keep breaking up. I heard you asked me if I was getting calls on what? Uh, have you been getting calls tonight or has it slow? Because i got to make sure this phone system is up correctly. Bitch. Oh, I've been getting calls tonight, as usual, for, like, you know, just guests and stuff like that. Uh, that's not, that's not good, because our Boonty Box system is showing that you have not been getting calls. But we got to do a quick test real quick. Do you have your manual with you, or I can walk you through it on the phone real quick? It's really easy. Okay, I can try to do my best. Okay, all you got to do is phone and hit it on the desk a little bit, like boom, 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 very gently so you don't hurt the phone. I can make sure that the speaker volume hits the red. So if you could do that. But... Are you sure? I feel like this is a joke. Ma'am, I wish this was a joke. I, for some reason, the calls aren't coming through. We're a subcategory machine as a phone service. Uh, it's not showing back here because we do customer feedback for the hotel. 
and uh, we, we have nothing yet. My boss is telling me to call you guys, so okay, just real so lightly. Have... You don't have to do it. Okay, like so how many times can I do it? I would say just to be safe, maybe three to five times, just real quick tap on the desk. Okay, not too hard. Not too hard, no. I just got to be able to hear. Okay, I'll do it right now. Thank you. Okay. Awesome, awesome. And I told you to turn on, on the TV with all the stuff. I told you to jump off the bridge do the same. Does the TV? Yeah, I heard the TV on in the background. Can you uh, maybe turn the volume down and do it one more time? Stupid. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I can do that right now. Just some guests that walk in. Would you be able to hold? Actually, if you could put the guests on the phone, maybe I can hear their voice better. The voice module is not picking up your voice. I'm sorry. I keep cutting out. You keep cutting out. If you could just put them on the phone, I can have them do the test. Uh, okay, one moment. Thank you. going my man sorry about that um, i'm calling from boonty box i'm a subcategory of the hotel machine uh how how would you like a uh can you hear me here hello what am I, where can i help you hi i need to get a room booking i'm here with my family in our station wagon and, i'm gay uh, my son's gay Mm. Well, she might be though. I put her pillows out, so hmm. I don't know what that means. But thank you for uh, calling. Yeah, she's a pillow in City. This is Tabitha speaking. How can I help you? Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, your phone line. Oh boy, it is a lot of noise. Hold on, let me turn up my hearing aid here. Okay. Let's see. Can I hear you now? Can you speak? <laughs> Hello. Hello? Oh, there you are. Hi. My son's Hi. gay. My son came out to me while on our car ride over. We were hoping we can get a room here tonight. Do you guys have any available openings? Unfortunately, no. I'm completely sold out. You fucking hussy. I'm going to not fuck you because I'm gay. I'm going to get Ted Webb on the bed. Don't be saying, oh, shit, it's me. You don't say oh, that. Oh, no, me. they're going to trace the number. You shouldn't have done that. Her, you heard her say, oh, shit. You're never going to find me. You're going to trace. They're going to put a tracer on it. That's not nice. They're going to star 6 9 turn you. On, turn on the anti tracer, real quick. You, you guys can test this. Thank you, can Thank you for I'm going to get it right now. I'm here in Rapid City, South Dakota. How can I be a service? Hi, we we need a room. We're here with my my family. We're in the station wagon. Are we Ooh. there yet? I'm gay. I'm gay. We are completely sold out yeah. here at the La Quinta. You would have to try over at the you. Be on our comfort. No, we have to stay there. Why do you say some some stuff like my, that? No, the, the the Ouija board said that it, the Ouija board said we have to stay there. Yeah, if not, I'm going to throw a Ouija board on your car, and I'm going to make the planchette go up and down and up and down. You don't want that. Sir? No. Oh, no, the clown there's demon already throws David. my truck around every now and then. No, there's a boy in the Ouija board, and he said he'll kill me if I don't stay there, so you have oh, to no, do it. Oh, no, clown demon, he often does that. No not worry, you're perfect. Uh, I don't know, yeah, David's, a, up David's, up David's an eight-year-old boy. Yeah, shut up. Get out of here, stupid. I hate people that play along with shit. Hello, Silver Rapids. 
Hi, I would like to experience your hotel and the bed boogs. How can I make a booking for bed boogs? Uh, I should be able to do it online, I think, right? Oh, I Have you visited our website? I, okay. I found your number in the white pages in this travel guide. I, I Great. ordered um, uh, via mail. Okay. Our front desk person is not here. I'm just the bartender. So I would try oh, back wow. again tomorrow before 4 o'clock. What happened to them? They they fell asleep on the job? No, can you give me a shot of fire? <laughs> that I can do. This is me fucking your mom. All right. So about those fireballs, are those complimentary? Is that you part of the experience? Call back tomorrow, okay? No, I need a fireball. Now. If there Come was on a down. Called Come on down. Mom, up till, actually, I just did last call, so. Oh, oh can, I, can I drink the fireball out of your mouth? Oh. Bye, strange person. Matt fucking Hillock. Matt fucking Hillock. Yeah, hey, how's it going, buddy? How you doing, Matt? Yeah. yeah. Hello? Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Matt Hillock. Uh, we're here to, me and my family are in a van. My son just came out as gay. His name's yeah. Ted. And then we have a cat as well. We name her Cat, K-A-T. Uh, how many rooms you got available tonight? Because there's like 12 of us, I would say. Fucker. Hello. Hello. Hey, can you so hear you me? Sorry about that. Yeah, go ahead. No, no worries. So We're I looking for, I think, shut up. We're looking for like two rooms, I would say. There's about six of us, maybe. Okay, but we have a two queen size bed. Okay, okay two okay. rooms, right? Yeah, two queen size yes, sir. bed yes, sir. we have. Two queens, yeah. Okay, good stuff. Um, so my my one of my best friends is here right now. His name is Dwight. Uh, I'm gonna put him on. He's a janitor at the local hospital. I don't know. Maybe he has something to say to you, Ben Chode. Uh Dwight, are you there? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes, I'm I would happy. like one room. Uh, I would like one creamy curry room, please. One queen. No, one creamy curry. Creamy curry room. Hello, please. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, are you having trouble? Yes, yeah. I, I live in Minnesota, right? Sir, are you having trouble hearing you, Ben Chutia? Are you okay? He, he hears in an accent. Oh, I could, I could do an accent. Hello, my friend. How are you? Uh, <laughs> got he didn't know. He didn't have. Motel E. This is Yeti. Bitch. Hello. 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 Ma'am. Oh, there yes. he is. Hi. I found an apple in my room. Um, yeah, I found an apple in my room under the desk. Is it safe to eat? No, it isn't. I would think it should go in the garbage. What room are you oh, in? It's too late. I already it's started eating. Now. Now. My, man, yeah, my dad just started eating. Can you please while we speak to you? It looks kind of weird, and it tastes funny. Why don't you eat I'm that? Fine. Junction, speak. Don, how may I help you? Hi, hey, I'm, I'm, jerking, I'm jerking off in your room. I got my pecker out, and I'm jerking it in your room. That's pretty sick. That's no, but, but that's, that's not why I was calling. Listen, where's the remote control in here? What room are you in? I'm in 215. And I got my pecker out. What? You don't have two fifteen. Oh, well, this must be you must be a you must be a slum lord if you don't have a two fifteen. Okay. You're a slum lord. Well, you have a good day. Sir. Yeah, all the good hotels. You know, all the good hotels have two fifteen. Are, are you? You know, this is something you need to work on. You can sleep on the roof if you want. Okay. Of course. I, oh, I will. Oh, he just gave us permission to sleep on the fucking roof? 
Don't do that. Don't you- Cal- yeah. The glory hole. Hi, were you looking for the glory hole? Glory hole. We heard it was in your hotel. Uh, all right. Um, what yeah, day would you yeah. like to reserve? Well, we were told that this was the location to go. Like in the lobby, the bathroom has a hole, and me and my friends, we can take turns take sitting turns down on down. one side and. <laughs> <laughs> We'll take in the glory. Oh, I'm sorry, can make resort. Hey, um, there was a, a person in the room next to me. Yeah. And uh, he said he said that I was autistic, and that I was um, trying to steal his thunder because he's um, he's also differently abled in the mental department. Okay. What kind of people do you allow to come in there? I didn't even know. I know nothing about that. <laughs> yeah, and I then just, he was like, just, he was making like really offensive sounds. And the I, fuck I'm you, sorry. Ted? What are you saying? What are you saying about me, hey, Ted? Hey, you well, see, I'm sorry he's, that like, happened. he's like, mm-hmm. yeah, he's like walking around like going, <laughs> and like, mm-hmm. oh, you're and like making all these noises and it's not nice. Yeah, you well, got your hospital. I'm sorry that happened to you. Yeah, can, I... Ma'am, can you hear me? We're sharing the same room and I think my friend is drunk. He's got he brought his own cat and he brought his own hospital bed and he brought his own bed and he brought his own sack. He put seven cats in that nine sacks. He takes nine sacks and puts them on the back. Uh so can we get a compensation for this room, please? Can you yeah, I want a refund because Okay, I want well, a refund I'm, because he called well, me a re re get a refund. Okay, well, I'm, I'm busy, so do you have anything else? We're busy, yeah, too. Yeah, I want a re-refund because he called you me a re a re-refund. You shit, you. You say re re Goodbye. Oh, my God, you're just as bad as him. Oh, my God, I must be. Shame on you. I'm like... Cat. America's best value and then sweet says Pam speaking. How can I help you? My ass burns. I need help. I used your toilet paper What's and that? now my ass really hurts and I don't know why. Do you put something on your toilet paper? I might be allergic. No. Nothing? We like don't. do you scent it or like Okay. Well no. something's happened since I wiped my ass with your toilet paper and I need um do you guys have any sort of Benadryl downstairs or anything like that that you could send up to my room? What room are you in? I don't know. Um, I'm still in the bathroom because I'm having a fun time right now. Um, let me see if my husband knows. Hey, husband! Am I your husband? Hey, ma'am. What room are we in? We're in two or three. Uh, we're not really, we're fiancés. She's jumping the gun. Uh, but, yeah, we're in 203. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm in the bathroom, man. I've been here for a while. <sighs> yeah, he's here for emotional support because I don't want to deal with this by myself. Yeah. Sorry about that, Kat. I, we I, also have I, a I child. Know. He's in the room by himself right now, so hopefully he's not sticking his fingers in sockets or something. Yeah. But, you know, it's kind of an emergency, what, so what you have something you, you can send up here. Two, two, three, yeah, 203. I don't think you got the right hotel because our hotel doesn't have a 203. It's always the room numbers. It's 1203. I apologize. We don't have a 1203 either. God damn it. Well, fuck off. Right, we're really Sorry. dyslexic. Ma'am, what? I put a, I put oh, a fork. I, can't I put a fork in the you. electric socket, and now my hand is black. I told you we couldn't leave him alone. I know. Oh, um, that's our son. Here, talk to our son, Ted. Could you just come to our room and take America's, away our son? That'd be nice. We're no, no, America's best say. value, and no, no, we, no. we don't I'm, Yeah, we're America's best too. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna get mad if you say that. We're, um, I'm American. We are at America's about, best value, and in sweet. Son of a bitch. We have two stores, and none of them are twelve oh three. We're in. That's I what I'm trying to tell you. You're not at the right. 
We don't have the 103. We don't have 203. God damn it. Well, then what the fuck We're not at that hotel. My teacher said this is America. All right. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm I'm good. I'm going to chill for a minute. Yeah, fuck you. Your ass is the one burning, bitch. Your ass is burning. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh uh-huh. My tongue hurts now. Okay. Okay. Oh, our child's here. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) This is American crazy. I have no idea where the fuck to go with that. Well, the hotel... I couldn't handle it by myself. I needed to have support. Good evening. Hi, my wife can't hold her bowels by herself. I have to hold them for her (laughs) when we're in the bathroom. Tell them about the bowel trouble. Yes, good evening. Yes, hello. Hello. Hi, stupid motherfucker. This is Jay here. How may I help you? I call this one. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Uh, do you have any hotel rooms open tonight? Yes, we do. Uh, do you have two bedrooms? Yes, we have two beds in each room. Okay, and can are there any open on the second floor? Second floor? Yeah, yes, on the second floor, because I'm going to pound my wife. I'm going to pound my wife, and it's going to sound like this. And like this. Yep, I know what and you're doing. One more time, like this. All right, Ben Chode. Ben Chode, Matt Chode. Here's my friend, Ted Webb. Why, Ted, what is happening? That pounding gonna, noise does not I'm gonna know. Fuck your mom. I'm going to fuck your mom like this. What, what is that word you're using? Oh, pound. P O U. No, the other one. The, the one that's with the f sound. Oh, pond. P O A N D. You said you were going to do something to my mother. I, I failed spelling. I can't yeah. get this goddamn pencil. All Me right. Too. Um, since, since we're. Disclosing things. I failed my spelling test this week. Don't tell mom. All right, I'm not going to tell mom, but you got to suck my dick better. Mom, are you there? Mom? Mom? Cat? Get on. Unmute. Hello? Are you sucking his dick again? Sir? No teeth or nothing, that's right. Sir, anyway, but do you have uh, on the second floor a uh, two bedroom? You still there? Thank you for calling American Express. No, yeah, how can I help you? Why are you asking me all of these questions just like that? Like, I'm not, I'm not a trained monkey. You can't expect me to just answer your questions right on the spot like that. Excuse me? Yeah, you are. I need you, if you're going to ask me questions, I need you to submit them at least five days in advance so my representatives can go over the questions, and then I'll be more apt to answer them in full honesty. I'm running for public office. You can't can't corner me like this. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Well, you're asking me a bunch of personal questions on the telephone machine, Incorporated LLC. And because of my, my stances with the PACs, and because of the way that they're supporting my campaign, you can't just be asking me random questions, ma'am. I know you must be a voter and you're concerned about the upcoming midterm, but you can't just rifle off questions. You need to you need to put them in writing. Do you have a pencil? I prefer that you write in disappearing ink so there's no paper trace. Because uh, then uh, we could be in a lot of trouble like President Trump right now, Vice President Trump. <laughs> Bush, Transfer your you. ass. I can't believe hey. that ass got transferred here. You broke the rules, Dwight. Hey, uh, my name is John from Boomty Box. How are you doing tonight? Good. Well, who is this? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Boomty Box. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> my name Dad, is what's so funny? I'm calling from Bootsy Box. My name oh. is John. I coughed. I apologize. Uh, we got a. I got to transfer you over my uh, associate. I'm, I'm, we've been drinking that. Uh, all right, let me transfer you. Hold on. Please hold. Thank you for holding. Have you tried Bootsy Box? It's Bootsy in a box. One of our agents will be with you shortly. 
Hello, sir. Thanks for holding. My, my <laughs> co-worker has not been drinking. I've been filling his vodka with water. Anthony, by Hilton, this is Lance. Right. Hey, Hey, how's it going, Lance? My name is James. I'm calling from Boomsy Box. How are you doing How tonight? Hey, you doing good. Good. Good, sir. We got to call and do a test. What Boomsy Box is, is, is we are a... Uh... Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that, but the lines got crossed or something. What Boomsy Box is, is that we're a subcategory of Steam. Steam. Uh, you know Steam, the gaming network? Yep. Okay, so we pretend to be that, and when you insert a demo disc into your computer, computer from 1985, Boomsy Box comes up so you can play the Boomsy Box, and you can download, download games, games from Boomsy Box. But you can also play the games normally, but we would like you to use our system to download the games onto our Boomsy Box system so you can play the games through our Boomsy Box that you could normally play through your computer instead of Steam. Steam. So we're calling... Thank you for that's calling from Super 8. This is that's Brian. How can I help you? That's, that's the way it is, Brian. Wait, hey, wait, wait a minute. What's your name? What are you saying? Call from Super 8. This is Brian. How can I help you? Oh, aren't you special? Your name's Brian. Oh, you get to keep everybody's name. Oh, if you're Brian, you're no longer allowed to have a Brian name because Brian said so. Mm, that's a pretty lame fucking name. Can I help you? Got him. I don't know, Brian. Can you? Well, I'm not sure what. what Brian, terminate the call, please. Oh, I guess me what I need again, Brian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Enjoy Dad, is it your name, to? Brian? My name's Dwight. Dwight. No, no, your name's Brian Dwight the Third. We're calling from Brian Box. Yeah. I think I think you're projecting because see, Dad's name is Brian. He's, He's been calling projecting. people up and telling people is, his name is, is Brian. Is there a reason he's, you're he's calling me? Or are we done? Are we done? Brian, Brian, Dwight's mad at me because Dwight's I didn't get the room because... in time. Boonty Box. Hello? Hello? Boonty Cox. Hi, I'm, are you, um, are you um, able to come out and take a look at my deck? I think you have the wrong number, my man. Bitch. No. My my deck is like really soggy, and it it like the wood isn't stiff anymore, and I think it's dangerous. Uh, Can you send somebody out to look at it? Where do you live, dude? I live in Calabasas. Oh yeah, I'll be out there. I'll be out there in two minutes. I'll see you in a couple minutes. All right. So how are you going to fix the deck? Whoa. I'm gonna I'm gonna use wood. I'll see you in a couple minutes. Thanks for calling the program, yeah, America. Scary. I'm scared. I'm scared, ma'am. Help me. I'm scared. Can you hear me? Uh, don't Hi. be scared just because the scene in the room, just because of I'm, all the I'm, red. What the fuck is your problem? Don't tell her about the red. We're in room two hundred three, and well, I. Uh, there's somebody in here. My name is Lala. Is this Fifi? Okay, well, I don't have a room 203. Oh, my God, that's the problem. So my friend Dwight drew a uh, marker on the door and knocked it out with a sledgehammer, and he put the saw, and it went like this, like this. Hey, I'm stuck in my room, and I can't get out. Hi, Fifi, this I'm is stuck Lala. In my, I'm stuck in my room, and I can't get out. What? Really? Really? Hi, Hello? we're trying to get out of the room, but we don't know how the door works. Uh, where where are you at? Sorry. Yeah, we're what? in the room, and um, what room? The two fifteen. I don't know. We were able to get in, but I can't figure out how it works the opposite way, That's like how you get out. Is is this a prank call? Harassment. Yes. Okay. All right. I don't know. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm, I need. What is that click? Can I help you? 
condom seller. Hello, I'm calling back to establish my uh, harassment school. Well, it's just really short. Good evening. Thank you for calling for Insulia Prom. My name is Heather. How may I help you? Heather, Hi. I'm going to put... I'm going to put my friend uh, Ted Webb on the phone. He got a knife stuck in the door, and he punched it. I, no, I don't no, know what no. happened. What are you talking about? Anyways, um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking to bring back the computer you guys sent out for repair that the hotel sent out. Um, I don't think we did, and you could call back Monday morning and talk to one of the managers. Yeah, um, well, they asked me to clean some stuff off of it, and I just wanted to let you know that there were pictures of men and clowns in hotel rooms Goodbye. that came up on the search. And bitch. Fucker, acts by you, a lying uh, son of a bitch. You know, we're trying to make phone reservations here with the person on the phone. Hello? Hey, hey boy. How can I help you? Hi, yeah, we're we're really drunk and uh, on substances, oh, and we're driving our station wagon to your hotel right now. If we have no yeah. room available. That's okay. We can be oh. in the parking lot, and we can stream movies all night and uh, drink beer and throw the cans at the windows. Yeah. yeah. There's no rooms available. Yeah, no tell, room. tell, tell him he's got to kick somebody out so we can have a room. Oh, here, you when just... James like the door. Fuck are you? Take the Come pen. Out. Take the pen. What if we pay more? Yeah. Like, four times more. What if we I'm smile not. more? I'm roaming out with it now. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking like a pay less bo- logo, to. buy one, get one type of situation. Yeah. Yeah, see, we're very sophisticated, rich, eccentric individuals. As a matter of fact, uh, Dwight here wants you to charge him as much as fourteen thousand dollars for. Whoa, Dwight, is that true? Yeah, that's how I prove. That's how I proved everybody that I'm not gay. Is I, I pay a lot of money for things that don't require My a lot of money. God. Uh, if you would tell we me have that, no I'm rooms available. Otherwise, I'd be more than happy to rent you one if we had one available. Listen, right. I, will, I will pay you. I will pay you five times the going rate for one night if you will evict a uh, single mother and her children out of one of the rooms so I can stay there. <laughs> I can't do that. Boy, hell, all right there, Mister. What about next Saturday night? What do we got going on there? Okay, Saturday that, night. That you have to call in the morning and check with the. Phone I'm gonna put my finger. I'm going to put my fingers in Ted Webb's mouth, and I'm going to put them out and take them in and take the pen. I'm going to put them in Dwight's mouth afterwards. I'm going to put Kool-Aid in the ice maker if you don't give us a room. Everyone's going to get grape ice cubes. And t- hey, Ted, we're going to put uh, vodka in the freezer and freeze it into ice cubes. Yeah. You Shut up. Fuck. I, I, know you gotta, I know you can't freeze vodka. Don't bring. Yeah, don't, we don't. You gotta bring up old shit. Why you gotta bring because, up old shit? Because because you yeah. said you're gonna put vodka for me in the freezer, and I'm gonna put it in my drink, and I put it out of the freezer, and it was still I'm frozen. What the fuck was that? My name is Paul Danino now. <laughs> Paul who? Paul. I, yeah, I scammed my viewers for like five hundred thousand dollars. Anyway, yeah, um, right? yeah. So what about next Saturday night, sir? We're having a good time. We're drunk, sorry. Oh, how about that room? You to, what you have to do is you have to Next. call the front desk in the morning. No. Oh, because they're okay. closed right now. Are you Dennis Hopper? Or where are no, you if not at doctor. the front desk? Do you know who Dennis Hopper is? Oh, yes. You sound you, like him. I'm sorry I said that because he's dead now. I'm sorry. Do you wear boxers or briefs? Yeah, but God bless you, sir. All right, go to hell. Go. Get the fuck out of here. Go away. Go. All right, hang up the phone. Hey, I want to make a complaint. Hold on, I have a complaint. I have a complaint, (laughs) goddammit. Anyone cares? Hi. Hi. Hi, I want to make a complaint. I called this hotel and somebody was really rude to me and said that they had no rooms available. And he wasn't being rude, just being honest. 
We don't have any rooms. Well, I can't. I don't think anything in the area has anything rooms available. I, I can't tell the difference between rude and honest. So, uh, what's going on that there's no hotel rooms available? The event, Apple Fest, Bono Apple Festival, town? Apple Festival, Apple Festival. Oh, the Apple Festival. That's right in Bayfield. Is, Ted, I, is Tim Ted, Cook I told, there? Is Tim Cook going to be speaking? Shut up! Shut up! I told you, Ted. Hold your tongue and say Apple, and that's what I want to do to you. Apple. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> that's why I brought you to the state. But honestly, why would why would people rent out rooms to watch somebody talk about overpriced computers? I'm I'm lost. <laughs> nice, Ted. But yeah, Dennis Hopper, can we please please VIP us? We're funny. We're calling, making jokes. Ha ha ha! But please, me and my son, we need we need this room. Yeah, we'll entertain the guests as you're kicking them out. No, we have no rooms available. Oh shit! What about sir? What about sir, just to, just imagine, just imagine this: you're kicking, imagine you're you're kicking an old widowed woman with her grandchildren out of the room, and we're like the band from the Titanic, just playing the cellos and the violin as they yeah. walk, as they as they do the walk, they just continue to walk, and we're like, yeah, hey, get the get the fuck out! This hotel's sinking, and then and then gone they are, they're they're just <laughs> yeah. gone. Or imagine there's nine of us in a in a random room. It's me and other British people and the girl from Heroes and the one black rapper who said, I'll put this on. And then you said, oh, my God, I need to get down and get the gun. And the guy with the long mustache that goes all the way and down. Then, and then imagine this, sir. You you were the rhinoceros, the black rhinoceros from Ace Ventura 2. And yeah. I, I am Jim Carrey, and I'm, I'm crawling out of your asshole. I'm just stretching and pulling, and then eventually my head squeezes through to the freedom, and I have fresh air. It, it doesn't really have anything to do with this situation, but you, right. you could, you could imagine. And then you said, you said, son, don't do this. You don't have to do this. And no, no, I wouldn't say that. Head. I wouldn't say that because everyone should do that. True, but then you get shot in the head. Dennis, can we please get this room, please? God bless you. We have no rooms available. And Motherfucker. You guys You've just need to relax and sleep because okay. I have your we phone number, get a room. which is, I have your number, oh, which is 585-648-1705. No. Oh, and if no. you call again, I'm going to call no. the cops. I'm going to no. call the cops and tell them you threatened to put me to sleep. You're calling the cops yeah. because we were talking movie quotes. What's the emergency, Dennis? What's the emergency? I know. There's no emergency. Yeah, remember this yeah. movie. You remember this movie quote? Fuck the police. Coming straight from the underground. See how Dennis turned from being happy and laughing yeah, to an evil heck? bastard. What's what the happened? Emergency? We're calling and having a fucking good night. This, Thanks for calling. How, how does this Did your boss you? walk how in the room? Your, or you have to act angry? What's the emergency? It's whatever. All right, what let me start this one and let me transfer it. Hey, how's it going? My name is Dennis Hopper from Bounty Box. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are you? I'm good, ma'am. Uh, we need to do a uh, little bit of uh, testing here on the phone. Um, I got to transfer you to my associate, Dwight. Uh, we got to do a little bit of testing for the Bounty Box system. Here he is. Sorry, I have the hiccups. No, ma'am, I'm sorry. The, uh, this is a, actually, I was calling, this is a Chinese restaurant. I was calling about the bento boxes. He got it really, really messed up. I was calling to order a bento box for lunch tomorrow. And that the other day, like, it was a special at this place that I was with. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hello. Do you have paper, do you have paper towel? Do you have bento box? Hi. Hello. What what the? F Put it in sweet. I'll help you. Yeah, yeah. Hi. I was calling about the paper towels. I want you to. I want you to pretend I'm Puerto Rico and you're Trump and throw some paper towels at me, motherfucker. I got a hell of a mess. Bento box. Yeah, my bento box. Eight points. Come play sweets by Mariel. This is Bree. How can I help you? Hey, how's it going, Peckerwood? I'm, I, I peed on my shirt a little bit, but I have eight points to give out. So how are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. 
Awesome, awesome. Hey, I was wondering um, if you had an extra shirt down there. Because, like I uh, said, I, I had an accident. I'm sorry, we do not. Oh, my God. You see that? Yeah, I peed a little bit on my shirt. Um, I, I, can I transfer you to my son? I'm, I'm sorry. I've been drinking a lot of Fireball. Hey, hey, I'm not deciding. Hey. All right, here you go, Ted. Here you go. What's my the last name number? Uh, the last name is Box. How did I do that? Really? In the first... Hi, good evening. Thank you for calling the award-winning home to space in Farmington, New Mexico. My name is Charmaine. How may I help Shut you? Shut up. Shut up, Charmaine. Hello? Um, Hello? Are you wanting to make a Hello? reservation just because that... Yes. Um, Bert kind of threw me off. I'm sorry? I heard someone telling me to be quiet. No, no, ma'am. He, that, that, yeah, that was my brother. He, he actually told you to shut, shut the F up. Yeah, I said shut up. That's not very right. nice. You know. Okay, well, you gentlemen have a good night. Well, no, we need a room. He has Tourette's. I'm sorry. <sighs> we can't, like, you know, shut him up or tape his mouth shut, but... You know, he says horrible things all the time. There's nothing we can do about it. And he's just chained to the van for way too long. We got to give him space to roam like a room. Shit, shit, shit. He hasn't Damn showered it. in weeks. Oh, okay. Well, right now, uh, for tonight, our rate is at two ninety nine before taxes. You stupid bitch, Charmaine. But we have, we have tax-exempt status. Yeah. Okay, we can accept taxes. Yeah, we do. You just have to have your form or the um, tax card uh, that they usually. That's fine. All right. Uh, so how, mu how much for like three nights? We're staying here for a conference, Charmaine. Um, okay. That was me that said that stuff, by the way. Uh, no, no, no. You're, you're mispronouncing her name. Her name is Charmander. All right, Charmander. Uh, oh, that was a Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. So three nights, we're here for a conference. I'm paying for my own room, and then Ted and Dwight are paying for their own rooms because you're a Charmander motherfucker, you. Um, sorry, excuse me. Um, so how many per night? Is it like, what did you say it was? Two something, whatever it was? You stupid bitch. Okay. Uh, give me your a moment. Son of a bitch. I'm sorry. I'm going to transfer you to the authority. Shut our phone number. Shit. Shit. Here, take the phone. I can't do this right now. I got to take my med. No, mom said I'm not supposed to use the phone after 8 p.m., so not me. What, what, are, you, what, are, what are you, the cousin, the cousin to the fucking gremlin, you little, Dwight, Dwight, you little Dwight, phone Dwight. goblin? What? 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 Uh, 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 Dwight. Oh, uh, uh, my name's Dwight. Uh, uh, my name's Ted Webb. Uh, 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 uh. Fuck. And a Go problem. You got a fucking up, problem. Man. And Cat joined the thing, humping the thing again. Shut up, you, you stupid do, dog. Do, you. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Anyway, excuse me. Are you there? Uh, yes, like I am. I apologize. Shit. Shut up, you stupid. Charmander, oh, um, anyway, so how many rooms do you have available for, for uh, I would say, the next three, four nights? Just in case of the conference. Frank. You stupid. You talking? You talking to me? You shut up back there. She's telling on you. I know. I heard that shit. Yeah. Charmaine. I'm sorry. I have blueprints here for a tape dispenser that I'm building on my own here. I'm doing it better. Um. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, how many rooms for three nights? I don't know, but her excuses are falling like a flimsy di fucking house of cards. It's all coming down. I'm coming. Okay, if you're using the, 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 the rate will be 98 yeah. before taxes, and you will be bringing in your tax exemption forms with an ID. So is that for with, three with an IUD? What does that have anything to do with shut it? Shut up. You shut up over there. She said you would need an IUD. I don't get that. You fucker. Is that for three rooms or is that for just one room? We need That's an IUD for, for OPP? God. What the fuck? So for one room, can we get like a deal? What the fuck was that? Actually, like I'm being serious. That sounds like a gunshot. 
Um, anyway, is that for like three rooms or is that for all of us together? Charmaine. That's just for one room. You dumb fucking bitch. Squeeze okay, so the Charmaine. So what if we want to like, let's say me and Dwight are in one room and we'll get Ted in the other room. Can we get like a discount on that or is that? I don't feel comfortable being in a room with you. I'm going to put my fingers in your asshole, Ted. I'm going to fuck you up the you ass. See, that's the reason why it's not going to happen. Okay, if you give me a moment, can I please put you on a brief hold? Um, I have some guests arriving right now. So let yeah, me get no them taken no care worries. of, and then I can finish the reservation. It's us. Charmaine. It's us. Yeah, we're here. Yeah, Charmaine, I'm actually calling from Boonty Box. You passed the test. Uh, we're calling from Boonty Box. If you could put those guests on the phone so we can get a quick survey. Uh, you actually passed. You did 10 out of 10 dealing with ignorant customers. Um, so if you could put them on the phone so we can get a quick survey. We can get you a raise going, and we can also do, do make you, sure the. Do you think roast satisfied. beef crotch is going to believe anything you're saying right now? We'll see. Charmaine. Charmaine. This woman. Okay, this woman's on, about one one ounce of beef away from being an Arby's happy hour hot beef and cheddar special. All right, Charmaine. Horsey sauce. Horsey cat. Can, can I meet you at Bennigan's later? They're family. Player, but and you would never board a family. Thank Charmaine. you very much. Christy speaking. How may I help you? Christy, I was just talking to Charmaine. I'm calling from... I'm sorry? Hey, sorry about that. I'm calling from Boonty Box. We just did a uh, quick test on Charmaine. She was passing the test, but all we had to do was get a uh, uh, phone tap. So do you know what that means, Christine? No. Okay, so all that needs to be, everything passed, you guys have gotten an A, B, B, A. So now we got to do the phone test. So if you could put the phone on the desk and tap it three times really softly, that way you can guys you guys can get a passing grade. Just do that real quick so I can hear it. Okay, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. There's no Charlene here. No, sure. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. So <laughs> We're just can, calling. can you hold for just a moment? Yeah, hold on, yeah no problem. You see my breath? Hampton and Sweets Farmington. This is Dylan. How may I help you? How's it going, gay guy? Uh, my name is John. I'm calling from Booty Box. Uh, I just talked to Charmaine, who transferred me to Christine, who transferred me to Dylan. Your name is Dylan, right? Yes, sir. Good stuff. All right. How's it going, man? My name is Gay Guy. I'm, uh, i I got to make sure your guys' phone line is good. We're a subcontract of AT&T and Booty Box compatibility and Benty Box as well. So if you could do a quick phone test, are you busy right now? Do you have any guests to take care of? Uh, I'm not busy right now. How may I help you? Awesome, awesome. Okay, so all we got to do is like a quick test just to make sure the phone line's working. I can hear the static in the background, so we're going to get rid of that so your customers don't have to deal with that. All you got to do is tap the phone on the desk three times really lightly. Click, click, click. So the static goes away on my end so I can make sure I... Get that back to the hotel security staff. Okay, one moment. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Uh, a little bit harder than that, Dylan. I'm sorry. I couldn't pick it up on the audio. All right. A little okay. bit better. All right. Would you, uh, would you mind maybe taking it like maybe three feet from the ground and dropping it on the ground so I can hear it a little bit better? All right, one moment. Yes, sir. Okay. Actually, is that okay? Maybe about a little bit higher because I still couldn't hear the – it hit the yellow. It almost hit the red. Okay, one moment. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm, how far away from the ground was that, sir? Uh, no, I dropped it pretty hard off from the ground. I, I still, it didn't, it, it almost hit the red. If you could do it, maybe like head high and then drop it. Okay. All right. One moment. Okay. It, it, it hit, try one more time. Maybe as high as you can take it up and drop it. 
because I can't. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. All right, now one more time, but say boonty box and then drop it. Uh, I don't feel comfortable doing it anymore, sir. Boonty box. I'm sorry? Say boonty box and do it one more time so we can get that level up to the red. I don't feel comfortable doing that to our phones. That's fair, that's fair. All right, boonty box. Can you say boonty box so it goes in the red? Belting box? Booty box. Filthy box? Booty. No, booty. B O O N T Y. Booty box. Bilty box? That's close enough. All right, one more time. Drop it on the ground. Say booty box. <laughs> uh, I don't feel comfortable doing that, sir. All right, you stupid fuck. Hang up the phone. Throw it on the ground one more time. <laughs> That was fucking, um, Dwight, what's your old character? Hello, what is it? Hello? 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 Yes, front desk? I'm in my Bitch. room, and I can... Oh, Dwight left. Hey, uh, Dwight was in his room, and he disconnected on accident. Can you hear me? Yes. Ma'am? Yeah, sorry about yes. that. Dwight, uh, he was on the phone line with me. We just called the hotel from the phone. He disconnected. He's up in the elevator right now, and uh, it's it's stuck, maybe. I'm not sure uh, if We don't allowed. have an elevator in this. Oh, that we would don't have an elevator in this hotel. So he's, that would explain everything. He's stuck in the stairs, and he said, hey, I'm here, and he, yeah, that explains everything. Uh, anyway, can you take your phone? and put it up as high as you can and drop it on the floor. What? I'm calling from Booty Box, uh, and I need you to take the phone. Is it a cordless phone or a wireless phone, ma'am? Um, we it's, don't it, have I'm an elevator. Bo- I think you got the wrong phone number. No. Oh, no, we the line's crossed. Uh, Dwight was calling about the elevator. Um, Thank you for calling Express. Hello. This is Eric. I can help you. Hi, Eric. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are you? I'm okay, but my brother is here with me, and he said he had an issue. Okay. So I'm calling <laughs> on behalf of him because he's afraid of dialing numbers, and you can't really see them anyway. But here, I'm, I'm giving the phone to him. Why are you telling him about my phonophobia? Right. I'm looking to get a room tonight. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we have two rooms left. They're both uh, they are king suites, so they're running array of two twenty four plus tax. Um, do you have any with like an XL toilet seats? Uh, I'm sorry. What extra what? It's a XL toilet seat. Um, no, the- no, we don't. <clears throat> oh. So what are we going to do about that? I need the accommodations because I have kind of a big behind. Okay. Um, so we just have normal size toilet seats in our rooms here. So that's that's all we have. Hmm. I guess I could use the bathtub. Sure, why not? That's, is that okay? All right. It's up to you. I get some extra towel. You get some extra towels to lay them down in the bathtub. <clears throat> Um, our, these rooms here only don't no. have bathrooms, but we only have showers here, so. Oh, so I'd have to, like, mash it in the grate with my feet? That's not. Yeah, yeah, you would. What do you do with large people, then, if you don't have big toilets? <clears throat> I don't know. That's not my problem. Well, why is it your problem? You, you're offering accommodations. Are you going to reserve a room, or do you need a room tonight? I do, but I, I asked you about the big toilets. Oh, uh-huh. yeah, but we don't have that. And so, do you still want to reserve the room? Um, yeah, let's go for it. I'll figure something else out. Sure. 
All right, so the real estate of the rate is that 224 plus tax. Uh, must need a last name. Two, did you say $224? Uh -huh. Yep, that's the rate for our, it's our the King Suite, so it's a 224 plus tax. Hmm. Uh, let me see. I think I have a coupon. Hold on. Um, what's the name of your hotel again? Holiday Inn Express. Uh, okay, Holiday Inn Express. Coupon. Here we go. Okay, it says up to 90% off. I can oh, click not, get deal. Not, not here tonight. If you want to book online, you can book it that way. Oh, why won't you accept a coupon? It says we don't price that. So if you find, a, find a different, if you find a deal online, you can book it through. You can book it through that, but we don't price match. No. But here it says up to ninety percent off online or in person. I can use that one. Nope, not in person. Are you saying that RetailMeNot.com is lying to me? I have no idea. I don't use that site, so. What's the other one? Like Honey something? Honey Baked Ham? No. Uh, honey Pot? No. Oh, High Desert. Crunchy line. Best Western High Desert, this is Wendy. How may I assist you today? Hey there. Hi, this you? is the grammar police. This is the grammar police. Um, you said how I can help you. Is that what you said? Yes, I did. Oh. Um, do you know the name of your third grade teacher? I'm going to go have a talk with him. Is there something Don't get I can angry. Do I hear you br you're breathing in a way that indicates that you're frustrated. See, I heard it. I'm breathing into the phone so at the moment. I am taking care of a customer, and I'm talking to you as well. Can, is there something that oh, I can do for you, sir? Yeah, that customer is part of uh, our party that's staying there. Uh, can you hand them the phone? I need to ask them about how many rooms we should get. I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot do that. Oh. Just say, hey, Joe, pick up the phone. Thank you for calling the Ms. Tahoe. This is Gloria. How can I assist you? Hi, hi ma'am. Listen, I see my breath in my room. What do you mean? Well, I like when I breathe, I see my breath. Okay. I see. I see yeah. I, what room are I, you in? I, I'm in 215. I I think I'm a ghost. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely a ghost. Probably, definitely. Yeah, I, I can see my breath. I think I think I'm a ghost. I need you I need you to get a priest to to come bless me so I can move on. I don't have any priests offhand that can do that. What do you have, yellow pages? What are the yellow pages? How old are you? <laughs> I'm just joking. Because I, all I can remember is the Cola Wars, ma'am. I think I died there. Possibly. Uh, uh, as, part of, as, part of, as part of me, I... There is no light. There is no light. Well, then where are you going? I died in this house. Hi. Oh, my, there's a phantasm in here.
Yeah. Ma'am, I got it. I got it from that movie Fantasia. Ma'am, do you have any ghost traps at the front desk? I do not. The ghostbusters have not left any for me. No proton packs. No, no nothing. Wow. They just left you alone with no equipment, huh? They did indeed. Hmm. They didn't even give me Slimer. Like, like I thought Slimer would at least help ward off the the evil ghost, like, because he's a friendly ghost. Like, I even tried to call Casper. Oh, you mean Casper? No, yeah. Slimer was a friendly ghost, too. Mm, Slimer had an eating disorder. But he was friendly. Was he really? Did you watch the cartoons? No. Do you want to hear something very scary, madam? Sure. You, do, you, do you know Ric Flair, the wrestler, and the old man? I've heard of him. <laughs> yeah. I did, I'm, I'm looking at ads on Facebook right now. Apparently, he's now peddling boner pills for old men. That's kind of sad. I feel like that's when you know your career is over. He that said, he, he, "Yeah, he said he, he said he's going to help men put some flair down there. That's his line in this thing." Oh, I feel like he's hit a new wow. low then. Yeah, he's probably got some alimony payments, so you can't be too mad at him. Yeah, got to do what you got to do to earn that paper. Oh, this looks amazing. Boozy brownie cherry bombs. Use some Crown Royal, some cherries, and some Duncan Hines chewy fudge brownie mix. And you put the cherries in the middle and you put some booze in there. How's that sound to you? You up to That's... getting a little drunk and bloated? Sounds pretty delightful, though. I do like the screwball peanut butter whiskey mixed with a little bit of the 99 bananas, and it's kind of like a peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, see, I tried, I tried to get these assholes to try that when I came out to see them in California. But they were like, oh, $35 for a fifth. A bunch of broke bitches. Hey, you know, if you have to ask for the pay, like how much it is, you can't afford it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Cat, you're a broke bitch. <laughs> Seriously, the peanut butter whiskey with 99 bananas, it's not, if it was like a peanut butter and banana sandwich. If you get a little bit of like half and half in there makes it real nice. Yeah, it looks like a fleshy hole. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, I mean I would I would try it for science, but not for sexual pleasure, for for strictly for science. I would recommend science. That's science. Yeah. I like weird science. It's a good movie. Where's my water? That's over here. Weird science. Found it. It is a good movie, kind of a classic. Yeah, I tried to make a woman once. Yeah, but it wasn't it wasn't a little sexually perverted though, because she was clearly like an older woman, and they were underage, and she was like showering with them and making out with them, taking them to bars and getting them drunk. Uh, throwing throwing big parties like she was a, she was contributing to delinquency of minors like she had a big party and they were all getting drunk and boozed up and like I think it's a really sad sad uh, state of affairs you know a real bad commentary of the eighties it's really horrible you know when you put oh it that it's weird when you look at movies that you looked watched as a kid and then you watch as an adult and you're kind of like huh. You should, oh, yeah. The, one, I'll tell you right now. There's a movie, one of my favorites. It's called Playing for Keeps. And I was watching it the other day, and I'll be damned if it didn't start running the credits across, and the, one of the producers is Harvey Weinstein. And I did not know this. Um, hmm. And his brother, his brother, I forget his brother's name, but his brother was involved with it, too. So are you really a ghost, though? Like, did you die? I'm kind of curious on this, though. I've had no, an no, I, I, it might be pretty cool. No, uh, the ghosts are only allowed to come back on Halloween. Who told you that lie? Uh, there was this witch. Uh, her, her, she was, uh, her last name was Sanderson, and she had two sisters. You know what? I heard they're kind of, like, really evil and not nice. But I heard they do some really good singing numbers. 
I don't like you anymore. You're making fun of me. You're making I fun am... of everything I say. You're mocking me. I'm not mocking you. I'm enjoying this conversation. It is bringing me some entertainment for the night. Yeah, well, you should you should kick people out. That would be my entertainment for the night. Here, hey, can you transfer me to one of the asshole, the people that have been assholes to you? Like, just transfer me to the room and I'll talk to them. Surprisingly, I have not had anybody be rude. It has all been okay. Like- anybody, anybody that's that's uh, made loud footsteps, that'll do. Well, I'm downstairs, so I can't hear their loud footsteps, so it doesn't like really affect. Me. Like through the lobby, I'm talking about through the lobby. Like they didn't walk at a normal pace and they were stomping. You know, maybe I don't they think- even had some mud or something. Oh, there's no reasoning with you. Damn it. I'm a woman. There is no reasoning with us at all. Yeah, now you're now you're talking. There you go. There's that misogynist attitude I've heard so much about. Well, I got to So how how else can we can, Yeah, so how else can we degrade women? Let's let's hear it. Go ahead. <laughs> Why don't you How do you, how do you degrade women? Why did the woman what? cross the street? Uh, why? Well, why was she out of the kitchen in the first place? That's the real question. Ah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, 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 I'm, I'm going to have to take away your right to, to choose to do any more. Cho- oh, my God, I can't stand this. Oh, my God. <laughs> where, where did you buy this phone? I think there's a ghost on the line. Yeah. There might be. I mean, I am in a haunted hotel, so. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. Like how haunted? Do you have any Ouija there... boards at the front desk? No, because I feel like the cold spirit hand of my mother will come and slap me if I touch a Ouija board. Oh my! She's just waiting for an opportunity to slap you. Well, I think I, her, her mom has a very strong Slackaho hand. She might have been Navajo. No Italian, more of a wooden spoon. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, the wooden spoon. I'm Italian. Or the boomerang <laughs> slippers. Don't forget those. She never did that with slippers, but, you like, she, would, she could never throw unless she was mad at me, and then her, her accuracy was dead on. Never missed. So, yeah. The slippers yeah. thing, that was more of a Hispanic thing. That, was, that wasn't that was really I think Italian. so, because that's more the chanclas. Yeah. The, whole cho- the cholas, yeah. The chanclas, you got to watch out no. for, because I have some friends that are Mexican, and their kids better watch out for the chanclas. I don't know. I don't believe you. Well, I mean, you don't know me, so believing a stranger is very difficult to do. I believe you put fluff or nutter and peanut butter together on a sandwich. I think you're that kind of person. Never done that. That sounds really gross and sticky and nasty. I think she's the type of woman that does spray cheese right from the can into her mouth without the crackers. Oh, my. How can you forget the crackers and... You mind if I ask her a question? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, if you go are for poor, it. you can't be fucking right. It's either the spray cheese or the crackers. You don't get both. Ma'am. I don't. I make a leaning tower of cheesy. Oh, oh my. my. And then slap it in my face. It's like movie. Spray, spray cheese on her nipples. Ma'am. Mm, nah. Hi. Hi. I have a question for you. I have many questions for you. Ma'am. Thirty. How old are you? I am not liberty to give that out. How many children do you have? I don't really answer personal questions on the clock, though. Are your parents divorced? Or what? Are your parents divorced? They're dead. Ma- oh, no. Like, both at the same time or separately? Yeah. Separately. Ma'am, Dad, I, I, or I, I bet Mom, of five. I got, I got a trick for you. I bet you I could tell you, I, I bet you I could tell you your age based solely on your birthday. <laughs> wow, really? Oh, my God. That would be amazing. I know. 
He's got a huge mega mind brain. Was it old age or natural causes? Or wait. Was it it natural causes? Or was it was an accident? Is it old age, natural causes? (laughs) Right. (laughs) Or what? I'm not laughing about your parents passing away. I'm just curious. What, did they pass away from natural causes or was it an accident? Well, my dad was in his 50s and he just had a major heart attack in the hospital because he was in there because he was diabetic and had a wound on his foot and he's probably going to lose it. My mom just had fluid in her lungs and probably had pneumonia. And I took her to the doctor's office and that's where she passed away, at the doctor's office. My dad in 04, my mom in 05. Okay. So you are probably... My 40s. My dad was in his 50s. Kind of natural causes, but... So you know. you're 47 years old. That's my guess. 47. Mid-70s baby. Because your dad would have been about that age to have kids. You are incorrect. But if you listen to the cues, and my dad died in his 50s, and it was in 04, and my mom died in her 40s in 05. Yeah. Yeah, he could have been 54 years old at that time, born 1950, had a kid in his mid-20s, 25, 1975. No, my parents quite were ten easily years apart. demonstrated. Parents were ten years apart. Your, your mom was older or younger? Younger. Wait, wait. They were ten years apart. You're, she had you when she was fifteen. No, she was in her twenties. Hmm. Oh, okay. So she should have. She had you in the eighties then. So you're like what, thirty five? Close. 36. Oh, so close. 37. Correct. 21. Uh, no. Inspector Gadget. Do, 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 oh, I guess. Do, do, do. Hey, kid. Um, he's, he, he's, he's in dollars. training under Miss Cleo. That's why I was asking all those questions. <laughs> Call me now, but she, I didn't. I never called her. No. It's a good thing. It was all a scam. Dion Warwick was the real medium. None of them are real. Hmm. Wait, does that mean you don't believe in ghosts? It means Dwight doesn't exist. Oh, shoot. Wait, do you believe in ghosts? This, I believe more in mass hysteria on the larger scale of it. Hmm. So, like, do both of your kids have the same dad? Pardon me? Do both of your kids have the same dad? I don't have kids. You don't have kids? No. She meant any. She meant any. Uh, You have any failed marriages? Pardon me? Boy, do I. You have any failed marriages? No. Marriage is a horrible decision for most people to make, and mm, not my cup of tea. Or my shadow. You're like commitment, public? What? No kids, no marriages. Do you own a home or do you rent? I bet you rent. I only rent because I don't want to make the commitment of buying a house and being stuck anywhere. I knew it. I knew it. Was your dad in the military? At one point. He also burned his draft card. He was in the military, but so the, the burning of the draft card didn't work? They got him anyway? He was already in Vietnam, so he figured, what were they going to do? Send him there? Like, he was already in Vietnam, like, he came from Vietnam? Like, he lived in Vietnam? Or yeah, he, 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 he was. He, he was. He's Vietnamese. He, he, that's what he was. <laughs> no, he was he Vietnam. <laughs> he fought on the other side. <laughs> Oh, oh, my next question. Um, do you have Snapchat? Possibly. Doesn't everybody? Okay. Do you okay. have an only um, she have an Ghost only Dwight. Ghost Dwight, you have to connect. You have to connect. 
Oh, like that other that other one that never came yeah. back around after the yeah. yeah. Will you connect? You, I think this one is a, a keeper. You, do you have a pen and paper handy? Oh, it's gonna give you a Snapchat. Yeah, I want to. I like we need to get her uh, set up with a um, a member of the community so she can get pregnant ASAP. We need another community member who makes six figures in this community. And she sounds like the right connection. Down the You're okay, but a symbol? <laughs> before the connection gives out, what's your snap name? I can't give that out. So okay, we'll her. give you Dwight. But she, if she's going to throw herself down the stairs, tell her we got to save that for the OnlyFans premiere. Don't be giving that shit away for free. Mm -hmm. well, connection can give out at any time you get. Just, just, ma'am, just add me on, just add me on Snapchat, Dwight PCN, D W I G H T P C N. That's it. That's all you got. Did you get that? I don't add strangers on Snapchat. This is a good stranger, though. He's a ghost, and he's very nice. Yeah, I've already I warned. You, I've already warned you ahead of time, anyways. But I also, heard... if you like funny calls, if you like having fun and laughing. You can come with us, and we can call other people, and we can all have fun together. But it's stranger danger, and I only get in the van for the king size candy bars. And if you have puppies, well, we yeah, have she, 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 Yeah, see, she's fucking around. I only go to Dollar General and get the minis. Well, what about getting one. in the van? You better have puppies and king size candy bars, or I'm not getting in the van. That's the whole problem. Let's and I need to see the candy bars. and the puppy before I get in there. There's big Twix bars. Don't you worry. She's got to march around the office and regenerate some electricity. She's got to swing the phone around to recharge you. Remember those stupid watches? They used to have those out yeah. all the time. They had to, like, shake your charge. wrist. Yeah, all the time mm -hmm. to fucking recharge them. Yeah, yeah, you had to shake them so that, like, they had no battery, like, no, you jiggle your hand. Have one of those, they're awesome. Uh, yeah, they were the best if you jerked off a lot, and then you just recharge the fuck out. I when I was a teenager, I never had to charge it any other way. Never mm -hmm. had to start your socks, either. I mean, at that point, you're just handling two no. tasks at once, recharging your battery and taking care of business, this so. That's true. That's yeah, eco-friendly. You're, you're going it's green. Super fun, so. mm. <laughs> What is what is her name? I forgot. Uh, I think her name's Mary. Mary? Front desk Mary? Okay, front desk Mary, do you have a pen and paper? It's Dwight P C N. Dwight P C N. Again, I don't add the changers on Snapchat. Well, we would add you, but you're too scary, you know, to give us your name. I'm telling you, this could change your life. Got it. So, like, you forgot my name, so then it's it's not as personal now that I have to retell you. Mary. So it's just Big Mary at the front desk. It's not Mary, though. Is it Crystal? No. Pepsi? Is it Champagne? No. No, that was the last lady. That was uh, Charmander was the last <laughs> <laughs> Is your name Trixie? Is it uh, Squirtle? Hmm. Gotta catch them all. But what if you don't catch them all? I mean, is there really a like downside to it? I mean... Well, no, because if you do catch them all, then you just gotta go to the clinic and get penicillin. Hmm. Mm. So, so you might as well. Good, uh, Idea, Dwight and Chad. What happened? I don't have Chad up. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Which which chat? The live show chat. Prank test. Oh oh oh! Well, tell her random fact. I I I don't. There's nothing interesting about me. There's tons interesting about you. No, really. There's there's really not. Random fact. You're really you good. Know the monument changes uh, color because from Washington, from a different. Ow. And you know the people have actually jumped over the last thing. 
there. Did, did you did you know at Mount Rushmore they cleaned the inside of George Washington's nose once a week to get all the boogers out? Hmm? Why only Wait. George Washington? Um, what about the other? Do they not get boogers? Is it just Washington's that they do? Good question. Good question. Mary, I have another question for you. Though. You're asking too many questions, Mary. She, is she? Or wait, are you a curious person? No, curiosity killed the cat. No, I think you're a curious person because you stayed on the phone. Oh, is that your and cat? cat are you? Are you later, that cat? Later, you're gonna wonder who were these people. I wonder if I'll ever find out why they called or what that was all about. And then she'll be trying to remember my Snapchat. Exactly. And I'll be like, oh, and I'll be like, oh look at this bot, because I always get bots to add me. And they're like, oh, look at my porn. Wait, what? We'll just enjoy that it happened at one point. It'll just be like something that I'll tell my friends about, and I'll be like, you all won't believe the crazy call I had at work, along with what happened that day. So I have crazy stories to tell friends. Yeah, and then you'd be like, you want to know? You need to join us. You need to join us. We draw people in. That's how we build our community. We become us. Her name. Her name is Robert Paulson. So anyway, it's Dwight E C N. Dwight. We corrupted we we corrupted a nice a nice lady from Hawaii and now she's been around here for years. Well, I mean it's it'll be something to, to do on your days off. I should look at my phone really and see if there's, there's nothing easy about it. Oh, Don't you want fun? Huh? Don't you want friends? I barely have time for the friends I have now. I mean, they all get kind of mad. Listen, this is friendship. We're, we're better friends. I'm telling you, we're better friends. I don't even know your friends. I know we're better though. I don't know. My friends are pretty cool and awesome. Well, you just wait. Dwight, PCN, you add them, and you'll find out how great we are. We can all have fun together. I don't know. I don't really this have like a, This sounds like a Donald Trump pitch now. You keep going, Gordo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to love when this replay. White TCM. We're going to be great friends. Huge. The greatest friends you've ever seen. Greater than any okay, friends that have ever been friends. Are we going to be like the Wolf Pack? <laughs> Uh, no, we're gonna be like the is. lost sure. boys. Sure, but you're gonna be the cur- the curly headed weird one. Wait, she has curly hair. Yeah, we're gonna be like the Hardy brothers. Unless she wants to be, unless she wants oh, Hardy to be, boys. She could be the dentist one. Chat. That team. wasn't the Hardy boys. He was not a brother. The Hardy That's brothers. Such a raging yeah. clue, right? You know. You're acting That's like a like raging story. How do you know I'm not the villain in the story? Oh, yeah, we we could use a good villain. Yeah, you could be an enemy. Cool. You could I don't know, be a are friend you of me. Minions? What the what? Good minions. Yeah, we're good minions. Man, I don't want to be a minion. Flying, no. I was either or flying monkeys or minions are on my list of things that I need to collect. Because yeah. you guys are so really good. This. I'd rather be the let's villain. Let's this back. What kind of car do you drive? Oh, why would I tell you that? I'm just curious. I want to find out things about you. Oh, like about you're asking you. for a goddamn license plate. Like, what's the thing? Exactly. There's a lot of cars out there. I won't be able to find yours. There's a lot of cars. I'm going at you. Parking lot. Do you have any I siblings? Selfish. Nah. Do you have any siblings? No, only child. Uh, one of the, uh, oh, that explains a lot. Well, I'm sorry, sorry that you went through that. That must have been really tough, real tough. Yeah. Especially at the cusp of adulthood, because like I'm almost identical in age. You know, and I know at that age that would have been like real traumatic. Well, life happens, and you know you just got to go with the flow. This is true. This is true. One foot in front of the other, and what more can you do? Nothing much. Just keep so, going. Uh, so, yes. 
Did you have proton packs when you were a kid? Like the toys? I did not. I did not. I'm a little disappointed about that. But I mean, you know, I had oh. an imaginary proton yeah. pack, you know. That's almost as good. So what state did you grow up in? California. The best state there is. Oh, okay. Southern California, Northern, Central, what? Southern. Okay. Southern California, where it's at. Oh. Southern California. Are you still there? No. No. Okay. Well, I mean, you want, to you want to go visit? We have frequent flyer miles. What was that? I said, well, the hotel I'm currently at is not in California, so I assume that I'm not currently in California. Could be a call center job. We've called many of people. It's okay. Oh. And here I thought y'all were local. Local? No. Well, we're I mean, some of us might be. Well, that's crazy. Interesting. So, you know, oh, okay. Gotcha. I see. So what part of, is it, okay, I see. So anyway, yeah, add, uh, add Dwight. We can start the friendship thing going. All of us will be friends together. You'll be like, wow, I can't believe I'm so skeptical. These people are so nice. They're so welcoming. And I have had so much fun with them. It has been fun, but I don't add strangers to Snapchat. Okay, but what do you need to know about us for us not to be strangers? No, we'd have to meet in person, of course. I mean, let's say that's impossible. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. She's wanting to meet strangers in person, but she won't <laughs> take the chat. <laughs> <laughs> and I told you I'm the villain in this story, so how else would I get my victims to come? I'm, to afra me? I'm afraid I'm going to end up in a fucking hole with her yelling at me and puts the lotion on the skin. Well, I mean, we do have several mine shafts where I live, and some of them you can't see the bottom of them. You guys are assuming that I'm the nice person in this story again. Uh, I've, dated, I've dated a few women like that, too. Can't see the bottom of the hole. There's nothing wrong with a hole you can't see the bottom of. That's why glory holes exist. It is, but when you take her to a restaurant and they ask for how many, you say two, and then all of a sudden it's like two, 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 and then you end up with a surcharge on your bill because they're like, hey, parties of six or more, it's 25%. Sorry. But again, how else am I supposed to get my victims if I don't meet strangers? Uh, I don't know. Ask Jeffrey Dahmer. That documentary out. He did it. How do you know I don't watch it for pointers? You know, I, there's been very few female serial killers, so statistically, I think we're pretty safe. I think it's Probably. because we're more smart to get away with the murders, not necessarily that we haven't been mm. caught. You know, it's just we haven't been caught because we're smarter with it. I think there are differing motivations that lend males to become males to become serial killers. I don't know about like, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know about that. The men well, just get too confident that I, they get caught. Maybe. So, um, did you go to college? No. The whole parents died. No, no let's, give her, let's give her a round of applause for that. Thank, thank God. <clears throat> so no siblings. Um, are you near family? Do you live near family? Nope. What led you to choose this state of all the states? Is it a driving distance? Or? I have some family friends out here. They said there are plenty of jobs out here. I said, why not? Packed up from where I lived in California, moved to the place where I did blindly. You ever, you ever go to jail? No, I just thought we discussed that. I didn't get caught yet. So why would I be in jail? Well, you, you could have got a parking ticket and then just not paid it. This well, is no, true. if you're There's a, a killer like, and a villain, you can't do something stupid and get a parking ticket. That's how you slip. Actually, you actually isn't, that, isn't that how they caught uh, fucking Bundy? Wasn't it a parking ticket? No, I think they arrested him. Like, he got pulled over for something stupid. 
And yeah, yeah, I thought he got a parking ticket like nearby where he slaughtered all those girls at that sorority, and they were able to find him through that. It might have been a parking ticket, but they also just pulled him over for randomly at one point, and that's how they caught him up, too. They caught him for driving while white. It's weird how that happens. Yeah. So what is your race? What do you what do you identify as? A person. Okay. Were you born? Would would someone looking at you say you were like Caucasian? Probably. Okay. If someone were to oh, look at you, would they say you were born with it, or would they say it was Maybelline? Probably a little bit of both. Oh. Okay. That's Makeup does How tall you, are you? So that's kind of personal. Really? Because someone could see it just by looking at you. It's not that personal. I'm tall enough. Oh, that's not really a height. That's like the McLovin thing. How tall are you? Old enough to party? I, I, I may have to reach, get on my tippy toes to reach just to the top shelf, but you know, not step still short. So maybe like five, 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 eight. Yeah, I, I have to keep my women under a certain height so that they depend on me for a lot of a lot of things. I can I could just start like, you know, I'm like, hey, I was like, you really you really want that jar of peanut butter up there? Because I put it up on the top top shelf. So you need like the damage and the stress type. Yeah, yeah, I'm an asshole like that. I got the I got the Rap Rapunzel uh uh whatever. I don't know. I'm looking for words I don't understand, you know what I'm saying? Hey, at least you own it. You're you know, hundred percent honest. Yeah, yeah. It. I'm a hundred percent stupid. <laughs> Damn it. Do you have any pets? Like a cat? Fucked up. I was playing Fall Guys and I lost. Just one cat or two cats? the Belvada Hotel. This is Dana. How can I be of assistance? Hi, Dana. Hello. Hi. Me and my yes. brother are here. We're in the car. We're driving. Uh, do you have any vacancies? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Let me put my brother on because I'm, I'm doing the driving here. Here, brother, take take the phone. Hi. Oh, my God. Hello? <laughs> Hello. Hi. You do reservations? Yes. Okay, we need three. What type of room are you uh, looking for? Well, we just need something to fit three people right now. <laughs> so a double queen? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever the the cheapest cheapest is, it'll fit three people. Hey, listen, uh, I know where this place is. You got to go up here and go. Uh, you got to go to the right. Okay. Go up, go up here to the next intersection. Go to the right. But but watch out! It's 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 like a twenty twenty five mile an hour turn over there. Hello. Hello. Yes. The car. Oh. 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 Hello. Somebody. Hello. I suggest you hang up and call nine one one. 
somebody cut me off. Was it you? You cut me off. You cut me sure. off. Sure. From here, I cut you off. Right. I need your insurance information. She she had the hotel she had the hotel shuttle bus and it it cut us off. What's the insurance number? Right. What's the number? Nine one one. That's too short You're for an insurance stupid. number. You're stupid. You too. Thank you. Bye bye. Did you explain to that guest before they checked in how, how, how ignorant you are? Is there anything else I can help you with? No, probably. Yeah, I didn't think so. You have a good night. Bye. Oh, Juice, talk that shit. Calling Cuffer Dan in Tone Falls. This has been How I Can Help You. Oh, hi, can you remove your telephone from the speaker or the microwave? It sounds like you're microwaving your telephone is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if you're aware. Nope, Um, but how can I help you? Oh, remove the telephone from the microwave and then we can talk. But right now it just sounds like a microwave. What's that? In Bishop, California. What the shit? How may I help you? Hello? Hi, my wife is very offended. She she wants to know how you, how in the fuck you're giving us Irish Spring bars of soap in here instead of some quality soap. Indeed. What do you mean? Uh, I, uh, I have no idea. I don't know where she you keeps, want to go from there. She keeps she keeps looking at this Irish Spring soap and just keeps yelling. She goes, "You're not fully clean unless you're just fully clean," and she's really pissed off about it. Indeed. Um, would you, uh, I might be getting... No, we booked on, we booked on, ex- we booked on Expedia, not Indeed. Yeah, I, I'm working with, I can talk to my manager about, manager about it later if you would like. Yeah, but her culo is going to be clean tonight if she doesn't get some zest. Or... You know what I mean? <laughs> She knits or crochet. She does one of those. She can make it. Hey, hello? Yeah, you, do you have Lost and Found? Do we have Lost and Found? Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to find my nut cozy that I left there. Your what? Well, my my, my wife, uh, Crispy, she crochets and she made me, basically she made me a ball thermos uh, to keep my genitals warm because we're trying to conceive a child. And I seem to have misplaced it when I checked out. And it's not in my belongings, and so I'm trying to see if it's in the lost and found. If you could just try to find, um, ba- basically, it, it looks like it would slide over the balls and, and penis of a male genitalia. Uh, it's it's like a dick cruise. Okay, I'll see if they have that right now. All right, take a look. Okay. Just give me a sec. Okay. Hey, uh, can we get those signs so that they don't clean the room in the morning? Oh, sorry, they won't clean the room? Yeah, let me do that. Your buddy, you you and your homosexual partner have adjoining rooms, but you're trying to hide the fact that you're in it to play together. You're like, yeah, you're like, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have nothing like that or housekeeping never found nothing like that right here. Okay, well, can you, can, you, can you make me another one? Yeah, I don't think we could do that. Why? What happened? Yeah, well, I, mean, I don't think we made it, so. Well, no, no, you didn't make it. My woman made it, yeah. She's a hell of a, she's a, hell of a bitch. All right, you have a good night. She got them penis eyes. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never mind. If I fucked it up, I fucked it up. You believed everything up until that point, and I fucked, I fucked it up. 
So <laughs> right, go ahead yeah, and hang cool. up. I'll, 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 I'm gonna hang my head in fucking shame. That was that was, that was <laughs> oh, yeah, such a one. bad. That was such. Oh, it's so so bad on my part. Death Valley Inn, this is Jeremy. How may I help you? Jeremy? Hi. I'm having trouble with yes. my TV. Um, <clears throat> my wife wanted to watch um, something on HBO, and I'm having trouble um, finding the correct channel. Unfortunately, unfortunately we do not have uh, HBO any longer. But... Um, could, could you just put it on for the night? Because we're just staying here one night. And again, we do not have HBO. Um, I'm really bad at confrontation. Dad? Dad? Boy, Daddy Boy. Oh, hey, hey, what's up, what's up honey? Right. They, they're saying that they don't have HBO. They don't have HBO. Okay, um, ask, ask them, uh... No, you ask them. I don't want to talk about them. Oh, all right, all right. Um, Are you oh, sure you called um, the uh, right hotel? Because this is a Death Valley Inn, and I don't see your um, yeah anything under that name. Well, Townsend. Well, my I'm sorry. Is that what room the name is yeah. under? Yes, yes, yes. Um, basically, I'm trying to teach him about the facts of life, but I can't find the facts of life on any of these channels currently. Um, so I'm I'm trying to show him about the courage of Michael J. Fox before he caught the itis, and so I figured maybe it would be on HBO, HBO Max, HBO Plus streaming, um, any of those type of things. I would not know that information, and we do not currently have HBO. Oh, hey. Uh, what? See if we can get dog food, like some something so we can get him to like a little bit before some, bed. Some dog, some dog food. Yeah, yeah. Is dog he, food. Is dog he, food. Is he still make, is he making? Is he making? Yeah, so he's great. Okay, all right. Um, you don't have any uh, extra dog food at the front, do you? Because the dog's hungry. Or like potty pads or anything, extra towels. I'm sure he's going to need to go. Yeah, does he know anything about this uh, hidden elevator on the other side of the shower that goes down to the gold mine in the basement? Reese or somebody? Atomic Invader, I can help you. Hey, motherfucker, why don't you take that bass out of your voice and address me properly? Atomic Invader, I can help you. No, 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 no. It's still too aggressive. I need, I need you to take the out, be a little more effeminate. Valley of the Temples Memorial Park and Hawaii Memorial Park Mortuary, how may I help you? Hello, Valley of the Temples Memorial Park. This is Amy. How can I help you? Hi, Big Amy. Oh, Hi. Is anybody along? Hello. 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 Hi. I'm, I have a, a death in my family today, and I need to, to fi make final, you know, final uh, plans for my... My loved one. How how do I go about doing this? My husband and I'm I. I'm so are sorry to hear about the passing of your loved one. Yeah. If I'm I could sorry, just I'm gather a, some information, I can contact how? someone who can assist you further. Oh, you can't help me. I personally cannot. I'm assisting with the calls, but if I can gather some information, I can contact someone who can assist you further. Granddad, he was quite old, but he lived a good life. You see. Okay. And, and what is your name? Francis. Thank you, Francis. And your last name? Horf. H O R F F. Thank you. And your phone number? Oh, it's uh I'm out of state at the moment. I've been here for a couple of days. Um uh, you might need to reach us at the hotel. Uh, there, are, there are birds gathering around us. Um, Granddad, he passed outside, and so he's, he's out here. But there seems to be uh, activity with the birds. I'm not sure exactly what. And you we're were trying to reach to the the funeral home in Hawaii. Yes, 
Yes, he's out here by the park. Right out front here. And what is your phone number, please? Oh, it's it's 808-725-5000. And your grandfather's name? Yes. What is his name, please? Uh, he was Franny. The same last name, H-O-R-F-F. <laughs> Franny Horse. But I knew him as Granddad. Oh. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Um, that was F-R-A-N-N-Y? Yes, yes. He loved me deeply. An H O R F F like Frank. Yes. I'm so sorry. I was named oh, after him. I just took it from your phone number. That was. Oh, I see. Oh, and took it from your phone number. That was eight zero eight seven two five one two one two. Yes. Yes. Okay. And you said that he is at a park when he passed. What's that? Yes, yes, he's in a park. He's out front of the uh, the service here. Okay. So the odd thing is that he's he's passed away in front of the cremation services here. Okay, so he's outside Valley of the Temples. Yes, yes, and he's making odd, strange noises as if there's still air, but he's been... We we checked. We had you know the EMS here, and they said, "Oh no, he's gone." But we can take him. But the crematorium is right here, so we might as well just call and see if we can. Yeah, the coroner signed off. That's what I'm saying. Sorry, I'm very scatterbrained. I, I loved him Did they deeply. Give you a call? He loved me deeply, and uh, this was the first time I'd seen him in 20 years. And, uh, I, I guess I caught him off guard because he the last time he saw me he. Um, well, he did some things that weren't very, uh, very untoward for a grandfather, you know, and, uh, he told me... Was a there a corner case number provided? Oh, my, my, my wife has that. Uh, dear, dear, could you, could you take the phone? I'm, I'm so scatterbrained. Jesus, hello? What information was you looking for? Um, who am I speaking with? This is Sebastian. All right. Um, and what is the, um, you said it was regarding uh, Mr. Horfu passed. So what is your phone number, please? The phone number is so easy. What's the phone number that you gave him? What's on file? Uh, it was the 808-725-1212. Uh, one, two, Se one, two. Uh, one, two, one, two. Does this sound familiar? Okay. And is was there a coroner case number? A coroner's case number? Mm -hmm. Yeah, as uh, I believe so. But, um, uh, I think it was Essence and Sam, P is and Paul, the number three, R is and Randy, M is and Michael. Uh, let's see here. Uh, C is in uh, corner. O is in open. Uh, let's see here. Uh, shit. Uh, uh, the, 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 last, the last part is cock. Mm -hmm. You have a good night. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Your call may be monitored for quality or training purposes. Uh -oh. Omeilane and Kona Memorial Park. How may I help you? He did it again. He he died again. It's not fucking funny. He keeps doing it. <laughs> God, bitch. That is... Fuck. Sorry. I'm gonna meet myself. No, you you just you don't understand. We had him cremated, and you just you just fucking used him as he was almond flour to make fucking keto Doritos. Are you fucking serious? No, I'm gonna see if they. Hello. Hello. Whispering pines. I'm sorry. Whispering pines. Cemetery. 
Oh, hi. Uh, I was calling to see if you had any more of my pet's uh, uh, ashes. Um, well, I don't know if we do or not. What, who are you? Okay, because my... Oh, well, we're trying to find uh, Reg Reginald. He was a wiener dog. Uh, my wife was stupid as shit. She got the ashes, the ones that we had mixed up with her almond flour, and then she tried to make almond flour Doritos uh, it, for her keto shit because she's a fat bitch. Uh, but she, what had happened is she she's went ahead and dissolved and ate about half of our dog, and I wanted to see if we could get some more ashes. I don't believe we got any more yet. Your ashes, you, you get all your ashes back. Okay, so we couldn't purchase, uh, is it possible to purchase more ashes? Uh, oh, where would I get them? Where would well, I get them? We could bring you a, well, we have ashes of a hobo dog that we could uh, probably bring by. Do you have uh, a furnace that we could char this little bastard up in or? No, I can't do that. I'm sorry. No, no, it's 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 dead. It's not it's not alive. It's it's yeah, already dead. It didn't it didn't it didn't have an owner, and I also have a raccoon that I would like to combine with it because we need a, an abundance of ashes. Well, we don't. We only do private cremations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Private. Yeah, uh, I adopted this raccoon. It was it was uh, Charlie Charlie the raccoon. So if if you could do me a solid, I, listen, I I don't know. Let me just let me just be honest with you. I run a medical supply warehouse, and I got a shipment of rabid weasels, and I need to have them cremated. Uh, give me a call tomorrow so I can understand this better, please. Okay, yeah, they're just, I have them all wrapped up in uh, garbage bags, like a little hefty garbage bag. But, yeah, I have, like, 15 or 20 rabid weasels uh, that I need to uh, have cremated um, because, you know, rabid weasels. Yeah, something rabid, yeah, that dose. Give me a call tomorrow. Okay, sounds good. All right. All right, thanks. For real? Hey, Hello. you doing that? You uh, hey, how you doing there, jerky? You got time to uh, grab? Yeah, I got one of these fucking dogs over here that one of my wife uh, fucking has here. I want to fry it up there, turn it into some jerky. Here. Compassionate care in home type euthanasia. This is Heather. Who can I help? Hey there, my pet chicken has passed. His name was Peck Peck. Uh, what what exactly is the uh, what do I have to do to you know get him cremated correctly? So with our crematory services, our crematory is actually not 24 hours. Uh, you are oh. able to bring a pet to us, however, um, they are closed for the day, so that would mean that you would uh, need to bring him to our facility in the morning, and we do require an appointment to do so. Um, that appointment is scheduled directly with our crematory, and I can certainly give you their phone number that you can call them in the morning. Some so they're not family, open 24 um, hours, and uh, Peck Peck will no. be, uh, he'll be disintegrating. Yeah, so the best um, best scenario for tonight is if you um, haven't considered calling an emergency clinic, uh, oftentimes emergency clinics will assist families with aftercare. Well, that's the trouble. We we took him to an emergency clinic and they they told me they didn't they would not be able to prepare him. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you uh which emergency clinic was it's that? It's been uh my wife took him. I I, I don't know, but the, the trouble is oh. that he it as it turns out, we didn't realize he had probably passed a couple of days ago and so he's oh. starting to get very blo bloated and um, yeah. The cloaca is bloody. Yeah. It looks like a video game death more than uh, oh. real life. Yeah. Um, 
There's not any 24-hour crematoriums. Um, you know, we are I mean, available tomorrow. Would it be if possible we, if we brought them by and uh, you know, we, we can stuff them with cornbread and roast them at 350 for 45 minutes? <laughs> no. <laughs> so oh. what you can do is, if you need to, is you can keep him cool to bring him to a crematory. Um, yeah. You know, that would be a possibility. Yeah, I'm serious. I'm and serious, I, man. Because my yeah. wife, she she's hysterical. She's been hysterical all day, all all week, ever since she found him, um, uh, lifeless. And we're not sure exactly if it was the cat that got to him or the dog. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. We had to put the dog down yesterday because I, I caught my wife um, doing untoward things with the dog, you see. Mm-hmm. So what we could so, do, what I would recommend... Like we're dealing with a lot of a lot of trauma here today. Uh, mm-hmm. My wife is cheating on me with the dog, and um, uh, Peck Peck passed suddenly. What I would recommend is you can certainly call our crematory in the morning to to inquire about bringing him him or her in, and they can schedule you an appointment and go over the cost. In the meantime, you would want to keep him um, as cool as possible. So if you have some ice packs or anything that you can place around, uh, that would be fine. If you're, if you, unless you have a, like a garage or a basement that you can keep the body cool, but you would need to be able to make sure that, um, you know, you contact the crematory yeah. in the morning. To the question that. I have though is, the, we have other chickens, mm-hmm. and um, I'm not sure how to break it to them that Peck Peck has passed. Do I um, in, oh, see? Here they are. Come on, children. So with, She's on the um, phone. She'll tell you. Well, what I would recommend is sometimes with um, you can let them see the body. It does a little Unfortunately, I do have another call coming, so I'm going to go ahead and um, give you the phone number to the crematory directly and contact them in the morning. Okay? No, no, not after the incident. I'm sorry? The incident. Not after the incident. I can't tell them again. No. I'm not allowed on their property. So I'm sorry, sir. I'm not following what you what information you're needing, but I can give you the phone number to the crematory if you'd like. Well, the crematory, they they kicked me out, my wife out, and myself because we tried to cook the animal in the crematorium at 45 minutes, 350 degrees, with the cornbread. They told us this is not KFC. This is not KFC. Uh, uh, which crematory are you talking about, sir? The one right here. He's ready to so, He's ready to go. I just need a proxy to take Peck Peck off my hands. So I'm not sure whom you're referring to, the crematory. I apologize for your confusion. The one that has the 11 herbs and spices. He's ready I'm to go. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. Sir, I'm going to end the phone call now. If you need the crematory, you may look on our website. But I'm a dog. Thank you for calling Kenneth Fields and Pearl. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, honey, hi, honey. Um, yeah. Hi. Um, sorry, I, I'm talking to my uh, boyfriend, but uh, we were yeah. wanting to to get book a room. Um, it's actually. Do you guys have like a a medical rate? I'm sorry. For like hospital visit, do you guys have like uh, a medical rate for a hospital we- visit? We might still be doing that. I'm not a person. Um, if you'd like, I can transfer your reservations. Um, well, I have some other questions about the room as well. Um, sure. it's, it's kind of like, do you guys have like a lot of discretion there? Discretion? Discretion, uh, yes. My, um, my boyfriend is kind of well-known, and I just I wanted to talk to someone and kind of keep it between us. Could I, could I speak to you about that? Um, sure, yeah. Um, okay. I mean, yeah, um, we're, we're fairly discreet. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, my my boyfriend is online. He's, he's known as Kit Boga. I don't know if you've heard of him. I'm sorry. You're, I'm, I'm having a hard time actually hear, actually hear you quite well. Am I on speakerphone by chance? Let me let me. No, you're on a Bluetooth though, honey. Can you grab? Okay. Can you grab it? Hey, uh, hello. Hi. Sorry, I was having a little hard time hearing. Hi. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm I'm very I'm very famous and I'm well to do, and uh, I just basically we need to be reassured that there'll be no cameras in our room, no paparazzis outside. Uh, no type of recording devices allowed in the rooms uh, next to us uh, because I'm going to suck my uh, boyfriend's clock. I mean, I'm a, I'm gonna just like I'm gonna suck the time and the seconds right off of that clock. Um, um, okay, so just letting you know off the top. I mean, I'm also you know in the queer community. It's not really cool, like to mm-hmm. just full on go that way with the front desk of a hotel. Um, so we, like I said, we, you're, if you're not like, you know, publicizing that you're here, there's not going to be any paps or anything like that. Um, what you do is okay. in your room, your business per everyone's status. Um, we just also, if you are going to, if you are going to do stuff in your room, just make sure that you know that you do have people mm-hmm. next door to you. So you need to be, you know, respectful of that. Um, yeah, we do medical yeah. So, uh, if you'd like, but, but I can. The thing is, he. Well, I was gonna. So basically, what's going on is he's been drinking. I'm sorry, he's being so so uh, uh, open. You I guess I'm, you think I'm being belligerent now? Wait until I get you in the room tonight. We did, okay. Did you ever? Here, here's the thing. Did you ever watch Power Rangers? Are you of that age? Uh huh. Do you know who Jason David Frank is? Uh, off the top of my head, I do not right now. You know the Green Ranger. He doesn't know who I am. Oh no, uh, I do. Yeah. Maybe no, he's I, oh. young. Oh yes, oh okay. Tommy, correct. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and the thing is, he he's coming up for a medical procedure because um, uh-huh. he's doing some shooting in California. And um, do, do you know what like adult, well, adult circumcision? I'm just going to speak in medical terms. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, he's he's kind of like prone to to infection, so we're trying to get that taken care of and. We're gonna kind of spend the weekend up in Portland and sure. and have some fun and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll suck the clock out of him. Here, might Lucy this guy again? Can you take it? I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm, I mean, I'm, it's like I've, it's really hard to hear you guys. Um, yeah, like said, yeah. We're sorry. Very, um, hey, very, we're, like I said, pick up the phone, Jason. I'm sorry. Hello. Pick up the phone. Hey, it's me. It's me. Tommy. Thomas. Thank you for calling the Silver Cloud Hotel, Portland. I'm Eric Pelyushenko, the general manager. My team and I are always at your service. If you're calling for a reservation, I'd like to inform I like you how he's got that LinkedIn you can profile find the right available rates at our hotel website, which is silvercloud.com. Com. If you'd like to speak with a team member to assist you with your reservation or speak with a hotel operator, please press one. If you just saying their website, silvercock.com, is it working? Reservations. Can you? Thank you for calling Silver Cloud Hotel. This is Vid. How can I help you? Hi, I was just on silvercock.com, and then all of a sudden it started dialing on my phone. Uh, it said I needed to do some type of authorization or authentication. Okay. And um, do you have a reservation with us? Well, I was looking at making a reservation on silvercock.com, and then when I clicked on more information, my telephone started dialing. So now I'm on the phone with you. You mean silvercloud.com? Yeah, silvercock.com. Okay. I can actually make a reservation for you if you want. Okay. Yeah, my, my mouse cursor, uh, it turned into a silver, uh, a silver cock, and then uh, it's a dialing across the screen. You mean silvercloud, right? Yeah, silvercock.com. 
Okay. And for some reason, the yeah. cursor the cursor keeps getting bigger, uh, and, and, and the longer I hover, it gets bigger. Um, it, oh. And then it it randomly starts shooting uh, white strings out of the top of the cursor. It's, it's very shiny. I'm not very sure about that. Sorry about sorry, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I can make a reservation mm -hmm. for you if you want. <clears throat> so we are in Portland. Sure. You know that, right? Right, right, right. Right. Okay. So, uh, when are you coming to the hotel? Uh, I'm going to be com I'm going to be coming tomorrow. Tomorrow. So from eighth to how many nights are you staying? Uh, for three nights. I'm I'm uh, a very famous drug addict. I'm an actor. Um, and I'll be doing detox in the room. I'll have a medical staff being, uh, they'll be coming in to treat. Okay, so you'll be here for three nights, which means you are going to leave on Tuesday, October 11th. Is that right? God willing. Uh, if this medication doesn't work, I may pass away in the room. Okay, okay. so you're staying for three nights, right? Yes, uh, three, three nights, God willing. Okay, and how many adults are coming? Uh, I will be the only one staying overnight, but there will be medical staff that will be coming in and out periodically throughout the state. Sure. All right, so are you okay with the king bedroom? A king, yes, absolutely. Uh, the more bed space, because they are gonna be bringing in medical devices, um, they will have x-ray machines, EKGs, uh, they would be doing a little bloodletting from my feet. Uh, so yeah, the more space where they can put down the uh, the machinery, the needles, the uh, scalpels, everything, uh, because they're going to be performing some on-site X-rays uh, to make sure I don't develop uh, pneumonia or anything like that. So how about the last thing sounds to you? The last thing would be maybe the, yeah, it has and, more. Space. And, 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 okay, and what does that entail? You're just saying more space. Is the room going to be radiation friendly? Um, I'm not actually sure about that. Sorry, I'm new here, so I actually need to ask my manager about that. Yeah, it's just so. it's uh, the X-ray is going to put out a uh, a small blast, no more than a uh, a medium-sized reactor of a plutonium plant. Okay, um, I still need to ask my manager. So if you okay. you because I'm not sure about that, sorry. Uh, if you can call us like early in the morning, like after in the morning. around nine, -ish. Okay. yeah, then my manager will- Yeah, I'm, 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 just, yeah I'm just checking because I'm gonna have a series of uh, bar uh, bar bar barium, barium animals, barium, barium animals. Okay. Um, basically sorry, each enema, basically each, each, each enema is gonna be equivalent to 600 chest x-rays. Um, okay, sorry, I really don't know much about it, so my manager can actually help you with that if you call us uh -huh. back, like, tomorrow in the morning. Okay. She will have uh, more. Yeah, I, 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 yeah I'll, I'll definitely, I'll give you a, I'll give you a call. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. Because I, I, I do, I, yeah, yeah, well, um, and you have my number on the color ID, right? And, uh, maybe you can have the manager give me a call. One second. Is it seven sixty two six seven nine two two five? Uh yes, yes, that's my number. And your name? My name is Dwight. Dwight. Okay, Mr. Dwight. Um, I might I will um ask my manager to call you back. Uh, how what time okay. would be for you? Uh, anytime, anytime. I'll, I'll, I'll be up, uh, because I'm, I'm trying to, uh, coordinate all of the, all of the staff, uh, and then I also have to get a hazmat team on call just in case, because if somebody were to stand too close to my room, uh, it may cause their phone to malfunction, and the, uh, aluminum foil will emit, it will emit sparks, um, uh, it could cause fillings to fall out of teeth. Uh, it could it could cause blondes to become brown haired, and we mm -hmm. we we don't want that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, I will uh, pass it to my manager when she's be here tomorrow in the morning. Okay. Fantastic. No problem. So have a good night. Thank you. 
You too. Goodbye. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It is new start. Korea by Marriott. This may be cause some assist you. Oh my God. Where are you from, sir? You sound ethnic. Oh, I'm from Nepal. Oh wow. Do you know what is Benchot? Ben Benkot? Yeah. In a Thailand? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh, How may I assist you today, sir? We have to uh free Nepal the nipple together. Yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. good. Mm. Now, my brother was on the phone with me, and he's, I don't know if he's dropped the call or not. I heard the phone, and it went click, and then it went down. Yeah. Uh, oh, there he is. Yeah, uh, ta- yeah. 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 Uh, ta- uh, Taiwan number one. Oh, uh, okay. Take yourself, and yeah. uh, and you have a good night, sir. What's the matter? You too, honey. Uh, bye-bye. Uh, do you need anything help, sir? Do you need any help? Yeah, Ty, I would like I would like to I would like one room for Taiwan number one. Oh, okay. Um, right now I'm in a uh, on clock, so let me give it to my colleague. Okay. Okay. Oh, lovely. Okay. <laughs> Good evening. This is Sharon at the Homeless Hotel. Can I help you? What's lovely? It's lovely. It's a lovely day. <laughs> no, no, no. What you were talking about? I know you were. I know you were shit talking some guests. I, I, what, what happened? Like, let me know what happened. Oh, um, the computer. So I was having troubles last night, and I go, "How do you fix this?" And he's like, "Oh, turn it off." And then I'm like, "Oh, I had to do it twice." He goes, "No, just hold the button longer. Hold it for like ten seconds." <laughs> oh, and no. I go, they, oh, they lovely. Tried to, did you? <laughs> Oh, he pulled the he pulled the you tried turning like, it off and turn it back on again. <laughs> it's one of those things. Computers they just are so frustrating sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, I've what's only that? been here for a I've only been here for a short distance. I sympathize what's with that? your problems with the computer. Yeah, yeah. Well, nothing. Yeah, nothing. I know. Oh God, computers are so funny. <laughs> hey, hey, can, can can you can you make a sniffing sound for me real quick? Can you get what? Like sniffing, like a sniff sound. Like, like that. Are Are you calling for for the homeless suites? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, I'm trying to evaluate you for something real quick. Can you just do that real quick? Uh, no, uh, uh-uh, no. Do you, Do you need uh, something from the homeless suites? Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to. Is was it Adderall that you were sniffing or? Asshole, Thank you for calling Fairfield Inn and Suites at Portland Airport. This is Kathleen. Hello? Emotional damage. Hello? How can I help you? No, no, I was talking to my husband. Hello? Hello, there's someone yes, outside I'm the room good. here and they have leaky trousers. And there's noise between the doors in the room. Where is that? Well, I'm outside the room here in the hallway. Don't don't open the door. But there's noise. Okay. You have to investigate it, right? No, no, don't even right. look out the window. Okay, I'll be up there in a moment. I'm with the guests right now. I'll be there as soon as I can. Oh my God, his penis is out. Oh. Falling asleep. Thank you for calling Shiloh. How can I help you? Hi, I need yes. to book a room with my brother. He's he has Tourette's. I'm sorry for his language if you can hear him. Uh, he needs a room. Uh, for next. Oh wait, no. We're here today, aren't we? Huh? Yeah. And he's a racist. <laughs> Hey, um, there's a tax on this pet fee. It's just, it's, so the total is really going to be 1741. Okay.
so. <laughs> Hello? Thank you for calling Fork. Sainsley, how can I help you? Hi, I have a little situation. I'm traveling, and I just need to know how long after eating do you think I'll have to use the toilet? I'm sorry, that's not really my... Uh, see, I'm on a tight de deadline. I have to know exactly how long typically the average person has, you know, between eating and, and making, you know, a toilet so break. I think maybe you should probably consult WebMD. Um, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for calling the Woodson on College. How can I help you? Uh, hi there, dear. I'm coming on by in a little bit. I was just wondering how long after eating do you think it'll be coming out of me here? Because I got a timetable to follow. I got to know where my bathroom breaks are. Uh, hello? What? Oh, yeah, I have a timetable to follow, so I... I need to know where I have to you know, pull my truck off the road. So I need to know about how long it takes for after consumption for it to come out. I have no idea. No idea at all. No, none of your customers ever complain or tell you, oh, it stays in me the whole day long? No. Well, that's strange. <coughs> Are you still there? Yeah. All right. Well, your food is good. Doesn't run through no one. Uh, no, not that I've heard. All right then. Then I'll see you in a little bit. I'll be uh, driving the truck that says "Big Trucking" on the side. Okay. Big Trucking. Thank you, Market. This is Virginia. Hi. I'm I'm driving through town here. I was just wondering because I'm on a time uh, a time timetable here. I, if I if I pick up some of the food there, how long will I have to wait until it comes out of me? Uh, well, usually it's about 15, 20 minutes. If you want to order, and then how far out are you? Oh, I'm about uh, 25 minutes out, so it's a little too early, I suppose. No, not really. We'll go ahead, and that way when you come by, we'll have it ready for you. Right, and then how long after I consume it will it come out of me? I have no idea. Well, that's the problem. No one seems to have an answer for me. But I've got yeah. a timetable to follow, and that's the problem. i got to know where my bathroom breaks are going to take place. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know how often you go. We've got good food, and it doesn't run through people, so... Well, that's good to know. All right then, I'll, I'll see you. I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll order it when I get there. Okay. All right. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Uh huh. Bye bye. Goodbye.